Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement of trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Dawn. This was developed and published by Something We Made and is usually available for £16.74 $90.99 but it has been included with Xbox Game Pass and it's been out on PlayStation for quite a while so Xbox lovers get your Game Pass out. Anyway, <laughs> so we play as... Uh, I don't know, Schlong Nose we'll call him. Uh, it must be from some country or something, as we guide him through many different areas with our trusty camera, taking pics, helping people, snapping pics of animals and all sorts of things. Uh, this is actually a hand-drawn game and it looks brilliant. And it is such a relaxing game too, which is always nice sometimes. Now as for achievements, um, so basically in the base game there are 37, but with the Xbox version it has the DLC and its various achievements already included, which is a big W move there from the devs. Uh, but the majority of achieves are basically for completing quests, taking pictures of various things and snapping all animals. Not in half literally of course. Uh, but the base game takes around 2 hours 20ish to do. The DLC roughly takes about 55 minutes, so you're looking at around 3 hours 15ish to complete this. So. With that being said then, well let's do it. And once we press the start button then we'll start off in a bedroom. Reminds you of a uh, young little Ash Ketchum Pokemon game, right? Yes, but it's not. So, move around of course with the left stick. The A button will be interacting with many things. So first of all, uh, the right stick will move the camera, which you will need to do yourself a lot. Um, so pick up your backpack, get the hell out of there and go ahead and talk to your Nan, who... For some particular reason, even though she's got eyes and they're both closed on the side of her head. By the way, um, dialogue options don't matter in this game. You can literally say whatever you want. So even though Nana has the eyes completely blindly closed, she's got glasses on her nose for some reason. Because um, apparently you can see better that way. I d why would you just get glasses that fit over your eyes? You'd look a bit weird, but yeah. Anyway, again, obviously smashing A to just get through the dialogue, which we will be doing. And now to use the camera, you press the Y button in order to open it up. Now, this kept confusing me. Uh, the right stick is to zoom it in and out. The left stick is to move it. And then right trigger. <laughs> Sorry, I thought she was having a bit of a, a, a an emergency there. Uh, anyway, right trigger to snapshot. Um, you can press the Y button if you want in order to take a little selfie. And obviously we'll get more later on. But that is how we will use the camera uh, so press A a couple of times on your big old grandma, the blind one with the glasses on her nose. Because apparently she can smell through her glasses better than she can see. So once this is done, you'll get your first achievement there called the beginning, And then we can just head down and out. So uh, we will talk to our Nana again. And then we're going to talk to what I assume to be a monkey. Uh, it pretty much looks like a monkey, so we'll go with that one. So, speak to the monkey, basically for every area, um, obviously we're going to say yes here, but for every area, we basically, the quests we do will give us some stamps, and once we get enough stamps, we can then go to the next area. Uh, but of course, we'll be completing all quests in order to get all achievements, because, uh, hey man, that's just what we do. So, thanks, stamps, uh, it really doesn't matter whichever option you pick. So, what you can do is go to the right and talk to your nan, nans? Be like, look, bruh, just get the corrective laser surgery, you'll be fine. You can take those silly glasses off your nose. Uh, so again, interact with the camera, and then, I don't know what the hell I'm trying to do here, uh, just take a picture of your beautiful Nana's closed blind eye. Um, how does she know where she's going? Yeah. Anyway, she got more hair than me, which I'm jealous of. Uh, so again, give her the picture that you just took. Again, just by talking to her, that's what, that's what you do when you uh, talk to people. It'll open up and then you've just got to interact with the uh, whatever picture it is. Put the stamp anywhere you want and that'll be one out of three. Uh, so that experience tome one we won't get of course until the end of the base game. So what we'll do then, um, we can take a picture of the house. So again, press the Y button in order to get your camera out and then the right trigger to take a snapshot of it. And that'll get you the home sweet home one done plus the uh, achievement there for photographing Nana's house. How does she know where she lives if she's blind? No, oh, well, I'm just joking. Right, go across to the back of the house here to grab a another present. I'm just joking. I know blind people are probably better than <laughs> people who can see. 
in all fairness. And that'll get you some clogs. Now, what you're going to do, every time you get a present and every time you get a clothing item, you need to equip every single item. So always press the A button to um, press it, because uh, there's an achievement for equipping every item at least once. And with these clogs, although we move slower, uh, we're just going to take a picture of the cow here as well. This is for our compendium. So we're basically going to take a picture of a whole bunch of animals in each area. Um, but with these clogs, you need, there's an achievement for walking a thousand miles. So you just basically need to keep walking in these clogs until uh, the achievement unlocks. Now, if you try to take a picture of an animal and it just says save to album, uh, just take another one again until it works. So this one we get Tato, little potato head. You can zoom in and out if you want. Depends, uh, obviously, how far, how close or how far away you like the camera. So that should be two animals we've got. And now the third one, um, we will have a look at these little ditty ditty little chicks. Homebird. Yo, what's up, Homebird? My name is... Oh. Yeah, uh, something like that. Anyway, so that should be Homebird done. Turn around and have a look at this lovely little apple. Uh, the squariest apple you'll ever see, but there are flies buzzing around it, so snap a picture of them bad boys, and then we should be good to go. Uh, we're going to speak to old Chunky Beard right here. Really jealous of that dude's beard, because I've got little ginger fluff pubes on my chin, which is... <sighs> it's disgusting. Anyway, uh, <laughs> there we go. So we've got the stamped one, because we've obviously already got the hidden gift. I don't know who would gift us some clogs, but uh, there we go. This is a... Um, this is just a game, of course, and, you know, we do anything for achievements. So, you can speak to the monkey again. And, obviously, we won't get the third one, like I said, until very much later on. But now we can go to the next region. It's all free, apparently, so I wish we didn't have to pay money. <laughs> it would make life a lot easier. So, we'll wait for the bus here, and then, of course, we're going to go to the next section, which is Oaklaville. <laughs> I guess this is it, your big journey awaits. Man, this isn't Pokemon, okay? I'm just going over to the next town. Jesus, chill, man. Uh, I'm just joking. Love you, nanny. Right, so you'll get an achievement there for coming to Oakleville. Then we speak to the monkey again. And then, well, let's just crack on with it. So first things first, get your camera back out and take a picture of the butterfly. Some things in this game have weird names and then other things don't, which is, I mean, you'll see. But it's all cute anyway. Then we can just crack on to the next area here. Right, hello, we got some rocks and stuff, so whip out your camera again. And this time we're going to take a picture of the snail, who in this game is called Snail. Which is, uh, which is a weird one. Uh, hmm. And then from here, what we could do is if we continue heading sort of to the right, just next to the closed peg line right there, you can see just on the fence, there is this little monkey who is called Tom. Now, Tom is an abbreviation for time of the month for which girls, well, they bleed out of a place. That's, that's, what, that, that's what Tom stands for. Sorry to all Toms out there. Right, interact with the house here and then take a picture of Nest Worm, the Nest Worm. And then what we can do, we can um, look slightly to the left. And then if you have a look on the ground, you can just see these little forest birds. Little teensy weensy forest birds. Take a picture of them as well. And then we should be good for taking pictures for now. So we're going to talk uh, or just go around to the house before we talk to the guy to get another present. And we get a foam finger. Now, uh, <laughs> excuse me, sir. Where are you sticking that digit? Uh, now we can speak to the... Guy with a sock on his head for some particular reason. But he does give us another quest, so, you know, it's not all bad. Right, so, uh, we can go over to the opposite side now and speak to the Photo Challenger Guild. So, yes, we are ready for a Photo Challenge. Oh, thanks. Well, thank you so much. It's not going to be tricky, because I'll tell you what to do. Because I love you. Right, so what we'll do now is if we whap our camera out and have a look up, you can see the stag beetle on the wall. So give that, of course, a little picture. Um, and then we can crack on and head inside the hotel. This is a hotel. So don't worry, it is actually a hotel. 
Uh, we're going to speak to this angry looking Dennis the Menace dude thing on the right. I don't know what his hair's doing. He must have stuck his finger in the electrical socket, perhaps. And stuck his nose up a cow's butt. Um, anyway, interact with the camera. I'll get the camera out and take a picture of Oscar. Then we're going to grab another miscellaneous achievement after you've done that. If you just look at the camera straight up and zoom all the way up, it'll start a little timer uh, or, you know, whatever that is. Little timer, we'll just call it. And then photo frame will come down and hello, dev team. And then we'll get the achievement there for you found us. So once that's done, ring the bell and uh, El Bero is going to wake up. <laughs> You're telling me we're really tired, mate. Try being human. It's worse. Anyway, he gives us another task to capture the hotel's beauty, which we will do with the picture. Tidy. Right, so what we'll do is if we head to the right, and then for now, we will just go into the next area to the right. And you can see three little happy children playing along. Whack your foam finger. Yeah, get out the way. And then head up. And then if we have a look here, just in between the trees, you can see this little cube, which we need to take a picture of. Once you've taken a picture of it, we will save that to the album. And then some weird cube stuff's going to go down. See? It's just a little rock. But it comes in handy because it's it's actually it's actually a pet rock. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> because why not? So, go over to the pet rock and obviously take a picture of it. Make sure that it uh, counts as your compendium. Your compendium. So there we go, pet rock, tidy. Now we're going to head up the steps. And then we're going to speak to, in just a minute, we're going to speak to that bro. But we're actually going to take a picture of the ladybird here. The ladybug, the ladybird, whatever you call it, we'll take a picture of it. That'll get your compendium updated. Now we can speak to uh, Fjallenbjörnjarne camp lady girl guy. Uh, yeah, sure, everyone wants to become a scout. Because uh, we all know what scout leaders get up to, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's, it's like a running joke along with priests, isn't it? Anyway, uh, once that's done, we will head straight up into the next area. And then we're going to talk to uh, this guy with a weird mouth. So, yes, we will be ready for another photo challenge. Spanky very much. Right, so, once we have done uh, with this area then, what we'll do is we will just turn back around, get the camera out next to the trees. And we will just take a picture of the trees. Now, sometimes it looks like I've taken a picture of random items, but that's not it at all. It's actually good for quests later on. So once you've taken the pictures of the, the trees, we'll head back into this area. We'll head back down the steps. Past the uh, happy little kids. And then we will get our camera out once again. And then we'll take a picture this time of the axe just sticking in the little tree stumpy stump. The old dumpin' stumpin'. Right, that will do. So for now, uh, we'll get our camera back out. We've obviously already taken a picture of the pet rock, but we do need to take a picture of the other rocks anyway. Um, again, it's 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 all for quests later on, so don't be thinking that I'm just being weird. I'll stay weird in my uh, commentary. So heading back into the next area, climbing up the steps, and here is the photo guild bro that we're going to uh, see. So first of all, then, we are going to interact with the... Uh, trees, so the three trees that's right next to him. He needs a picture for some particular reason, even though he's standing right next to them. Then the axe in the tree stump. And then finally, you're going to take a picture of the couple of rocks as well, with pet rock included. Look at a mouse and that rock. And there we go. That's the first stamp that we're going to get. So you can try and be neat like I ended up doing, or you can just put your stamps anyway. It really depends on... How much of that will bother you? And it'll be funny to it'll be funny to see how much it bothers certain people. I couldn't just make it a mess, I had to make it all try and make it neat and tidy. Right, have a look at the bin here and speak to the bin. There's somebody stalking, which is not strange at all. But we do actually have to in, in each level there is this guy that we just gotta take a picture of. Um, which apparently is not stalking on our end either. Ugh. Right, so once that's done, now we get the quest from that bin. We're going to head up the steps. We're going to speak to this hedgehog. Uh, 
Task found. Log block in a path. That's a very, uh, it's a very good name for that particular task right there. So, uh, what we'll do, we'll get a camera out first. We'll take a picture of a couple of ants. Uh, first of all, before we go and do this quest, because we're going to need to do it to get to the next area, of course, even though we could probably just climb over, but still. That's not in the goodness of the games, is it now? So head to the previous area then. And before heading down the steps, what you're going to do is go sort of on the top of them, get your camera out, and you don't have to take a picture, but just make sure that it's pointing at the camera. Timer dings, and that you'll be like, Oh man, there's a brother in need now. So let's go look for the next one, is it? Okay, that sounds good. Right, heading down the steps to the left and into the left area. So go ahead and speak to the Photos Guild Weird Mouth Lady R. And we need to show her a couple of pictures of the animals. So you need to press the right button twice, as you can see at the top left corner of the, the album. So press the right bumper to go over to the animals, and the first one we will do then is show her the ant. Show her the ant and she'll be like, wow, that's, uh, yeah, that certainly is an ant, and that will do, apparently. Yes, that, that is an ant. Apparently you can see them in, this is nature, they're bound to be about, but apparently she's impressed by your picture. So anyway, heading back to the hotel. And then what we will do here is if we turn to the right, the next hedgehog thing is there. So, again, wait till the time it dings, and then you're going to be like, Hey man, our brother's in need. So once we've headed out, go to the right into the next area. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to interact with the Information kiosk because there's the third one again. You're gonna brother in need it, man. Ah, oh, nah, they didn't put yeet in there, did they? Ah, oh, nah, that's that's cringe. That's too cringe, bro. Right, take a picture of these little flowers before we head back into the area. Again, that will of course be for more quests later on. So just take a picture of those flowers and continue onwards. So head back up and to the right into the next area. And then straight forward into the next area. Right, in this little forest area, we're going to take a picture of these weird-looking, not-magic mushrooms at all mushrooms. So that'll be a, another uh, something or other, and then we can just head straight back. Um, <laughs> and then what we'll do from here, we are going to climb up the steps. And we are going to go into the next area straight in and basically finish the Owl Hedgehog quest, whatever the hell they are. and the way is cleared. Impressive. Right, take a picture of these uh, SpongeBob SquarePants looking flowers. The squarest flowers in the world. Uh, so once that's done, we can now talk to this big bird thing. So apparently he's sad because his brother got cooked by KFC. And he's wondering, because it smells really good, if he eats it, will he be technically a cannibal? Ugh. We'll leave that one for later. Uh, no, that's not the quest, of course. Right. With the camera here, just go to the right and take a picture of the hotel. That is the hotel. We will get an achievement for it there. Majestic Hotel. We will also get a... Um, and this, well, this will obviously come in handy later on for another quest. So that is how you complete that one. So we don't have to talk to the stinky kid. We can just crack onto the previous area and then head back. I 
And once we are here then, let us talk to the, well, not this photo guild person, but in the in this area with the house, we will talk again. So let us show a couple of photos. And the first one that we are going to be needing to show are the flowers. So of course, press the left bumper twice in order to go to the last bit. And then you just need to interact with the square flowers, the circle flowers, and the magic, not so magic mushrooms. So once this is done, we will get the Fjallbjorn, the Fjallbjorn cap. Again, every time we will say yes to equip the clothing, because again, remember for the achievement, we need to equip every, every, every piece of clothing at least once. And then it'll just be easier to keep track. So it's starting to get a bit warmer and a bit heavier for you, but that's a risk we're all willing to take, right? Right. So heading to the left. Back to where Sad Sokka is, and we're going to go back in the hotel. And then once in the hotel, we will uh, go to the left to speak with the old KFC bird again. Well, he says he only nibbled on his brother a little bit. It tasted good, but, uh, you know, that's why his eyes are looking very like, oh my good. So we decided to keep cooking instead and forget. Forget it all. Right, interact with the bear, the hotel manager. And of course, what you're going to do is whip open the hotel picture that you took. So six stamps it should be on now. So first of all, we'll head to the elevator before we head out the real door. And there's a little party going on or something in here. God damn. So let's whip out our camera. And of course, we're going to take a picture of the squirrels. Make sure, of course, that it is part of your compendium. There we go. So the squirrel. Uh, that is another piece done, and then we can go ahead and talk to the dude behind you. So, because of copyright issues, then we get a tape of music we can listen to, but we can't actually listen to it because, you know, like I said, YouTube copyright issues, people love it. They love not giving any content creators a slice of the cash. Uh, so we can head back to the left hand side. And we're in the lovely dim forest area. So what we're going to do then, um, just in between, in fact, no, we're going up and to the right first. Sorry, I just got a little bit ahead of myself. There's basically a cube by the steps we need to take a picture of a little bit later on. Uh, so for now, speak to this broski, and we're going to play a little bit of hide and seek. So all you got to do then is get onto the ladder, like, nay. Nah. There we go, jump up onto the ladder. You'll automatically get your camera out, and then you just need to zoom in where all four of the kids are. So there's one obviously straight in the middle. Um, there's one to the right, one to the left, and one hiding in the left-hand side, uh, right at the top of a tree. <laughs> Yeah, 
So we will get the seventh stamp, but before you head down the ladder, we actually need to take another picture of the creepy guy just hiding in between the trees there. Uh, so for some reason, this creepy guy was just staring at a bunch of kids playing. That's not creepy at all. Probably one of the scout leaders, I expect. Uh, oh, spicy. Just joking, of course. It was definitely the priest. Uh, right, no more, sorry. Right, so jump down with the A button and then go to the left once you've taken a picture of the creepy stalker guy. So remember again to press the yes button, so the A button to equip the ghost glasses. And oh look, the skeleton, it's me after working out for many years. I don't get bigger, I just get skinnier for some reason. I am skin and bones. Right, a couple of things we're going to do here then. So uh, we'll turn the camera around, we will press the A button to pet the dog to get an achievement because you can't beat petting the dog, uh, getting a pet the dog achievement in there. And then we'll speak to the ghost. I can... You know, well, if you look like that, you probably look, you probably were just a fried egg or something. Uh, so that's another quest we're going to do. We're going to take a picture of this dog, though, the one that we petted. Get your buns out here, oh, Ciro. Ciro, Ciro. Coke Ciro. And then we can head into the little house area. Uh, so you can speak to the ghost again right here. Obviously, we are going to get a, another task. In fact, we're not getting... Oh, in fact, we are getting a task, sorry. Then we're going to head up the steps, go to the right, and there's going to be a little flying potato. Well, it's the potato, but it's a flying potato. There he is. So make sure to give him a snap. Potato fly. Who knew potato? Who knew potatoes could fly? That's why they sprout all those um, big white bits. That's the, that's a potato wing. It's just science, bro. Uh, so go back out, speak to the skeleton again. Oh, thank you very much. And then what we'll do, we'll we'll uh, get another achievement here by uh, taking a picture of him. When the uh, picture looks like this and they're all happy, you will get the achievement there. So calmed down, that'll do. Uh, so yeah, we're done now. We can go back down. And uh, we'll go to the right again. And we're going to go back inside the hotel. Hotel, hotel. Let's just take a picture of this weird little horse on the wall. The one with the big eyes and the afro. Kind of looks like Drake in a weird way, doesn't it? Uh, so, <laughs> so, Sorry, Drake. Sorry, bro. You're richer than me. I'm just jealous of it. So once you've taken the picture of the horse anyway, we can head back to the left. There's going to be a couple of things we're going to do in this area so the first things first let's go ahead and speak to the ghost now basically this is just a mini game where something's under the cup and you've just got to follow it and pick that one obviously it does there's about five rounds it does get a lot quicker so um yeah yeah just pick the correct ones You are a master of eyeballs. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if that's, I think it's random for everyone as well. So don't quote me on that because I'm not sure, but I think it may be random. Hopefully, I mean, if it's not, then it makes it easier for you. But uh, there we go. So we get another stamp before heading up the steps. Have a look at these rocks. Get your camera out and have a look at the old Cubenhausen trousen. <laughs> 
And just like magic, uh, the, the old magic Mario mushroom house has just appeared from nowhere. Yes, it's a me. It's a me, a Welsh. Right, so let's head back up to the area, past the hide and seek bit, and into the ghosty weird section. So let's talk to the ghost on the left hand side. And the picture that you need is the big Drake. Uh, in fact, I say Drake, it probably looks more like uh, Bruno Mars, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> the horse picture. No offense, because I do like Bruno Mars, but I think it's just the Afro man. Anyway, you were beautiful, now you're a ghost. So, goodbye, my lover, goodbye, my friend. Okay, head back to the left, since we've just um, helped him rest peacefully, as it were. Now we're going to go back into the Mario Magic Mushroom House. Hello, Mario! Where are you, boy? Or are you on top, I suppose? There is another present in here for us. Thank you, my friend. Uh, we will equip the cowboy hat because, you know, we are Indiana Jones. If Harrison Ford was, uh, you know, a lot older. And take a picture of the little potato bug. Little weeny weeny tato bug just on the rock right there. So that should have been a cowboy hat you've got and the tato bug. And that's the only time that we're going to go in that house. So, yeah, job done there, I suppose. Head to the right. And, uh, well, yeah, just continue heading to the right. And then we're going to interact with Sock Guy and give him his missing sock. Which, in turn, he's going to give us... Uh, his so soft, wet, old, and kind of stinky, and a bit hard as well. I wonder, not too sure why that is, but you know, I guess we'll keep it in our pocket. <sighs> right, that should be 10 out of 15 quests all done for us now. Uh, so, just a couple more. We're going to take a picture of Sock Guy. That's going to get us another achievement because he's all happy now. You couldn't tell because he does have a sock and buttons for eyes, but. He is, uh, well, he's happy with it. So heading to the right anyway, uh, back into the happy playing children -y bit. And then continue on to the right. And then what we're going to do, we're going to whip out our handy dandy camera. And if we go to the right of that, you can see the beehive. We are going to need to take a picture of that. That is the compendium up Dataru. So basically the compendium is just like the Pokedex, effectively. Uh, but once you've done that, then if you press the left uh, left on the D-pad, you can get your tripod out. So put that right in the middle. Go and press the A button here on the little flower scene picture thing. Then you can press Y to go into your camera, and then you can turn the camera around. This is our tripod now. So there we go. Zoom in a little bit, and we'll take a picture of ourselves. Hello, we're looking mighty fine. So that is how we become a delicate little flower. So once you've got the next stamp done, um, we need to go back into the camera. We actually have to turn around and take a picture of the the scaredest looking mon monster. Not the scariest, but the scaredest looking monster you've ever seen. Why are you shaking, bro? You need a... I got some coke. I, you need some Fanta? No. Anyway, press the B button to back out. Uh, you can just press the left, left on the D-pad to get your tripod back. That's fine. Um, but we go into the right and we're going to speak to the bouncer. We could literally just shove the finger up his nose and then he'll let us in, but no. <laughs> Cheers, my brother. Right, so head inside. And the only thing we're going to be doing here is taking a picture of the DJ on the stage. Once we get into the next area, we're going to head back up the steps, the wooden steps of life. And then we are going to go up into the next area, so straight away. And then we are going to interact with the dude in the bin. And then, of course, we will show him the picture of the weird child stalker thing we took earlier on. 
We should be there uh, somewhere. There he is, just hiding between the trees. Oh my gosh. So that should be number 13 out of 15 done. Um, now the last two we can't actually get just yet. So we'll have to come back to this area a little bit later on. So that is fine. So for now what we're going to do is head down, down to the left. And we're going to catch a bus to the next area for free. So he's happy enough with that. Thank you, Mr. Monkey Mans. So again, wait for the bus and just head to the next area, which is Stanham. Stanhamanen. Yeah. So once we have arrived at Stan Hammonen, uh, we will speak to the monkey. We will, uh, the monkey behind the information desk, will get the achievement there, set sail for good weather. And he'll just tell us we need to get some more stamps, do some more quests and do everything we've been doing so far. So first things first, get your camera out and you can see where the old creepy dude is. So we're gonna take another picture of him. Uh, oh, he's blinking. He knows we're watching. He knows we're watching. Well, he, we know he's watching us, but we know we're watching him. He knows he's watching kids. That's weird. Right, get your camera out again, and then what you're gonna do is have a look at little Tato Mouse all the way over there. Little potatoes going for a nice little swim uh, just by the pier. So make sure you got that one. And then we're gonna whap our, in fact, uh, yes, we are going to get a camera out again. No, we're not. We're, sorry, I got a little bit ahead of myself again there. No, we're just going to talk to this singing sailor broski. What are you, buddy? And once we've had a little word with him, what we'll do is turn the camera around. And then we're going to interact with and take a picture of the seagull. Bar. Look at that. He's like, I'm going to... Jump on your head and eat all your chips because seagulls are crap birds, literally. So we can now enter this little building to the left and we've got the Photos Guild, big challenge thing. Or oh, it's the Photo Guild Challenges Hut. Basically, a whole bunch of challenges. So you speak to the, uh, so you've got to speak to both of them and he will give you some frames and filters. There's only a couple of times you're going to use this throughout the game. So nay panic and nay bother. Uh, but we will do it pretty soon. So obviously we've got a whole bunch of challenges in each area, so obviously we don't need to worry about that just yet. So for now, what we'll do is head uh, <laughs> to the... Uh, this time we're going to head to the... well, what was the right? Uh, we're just going to take a picture of the singing sad man. Oh, I want to see a fish because I love fishing. Arr. For some reason he's a pirate as well. Pirate Fisher. So then we head to the right next to this little electrical electrical nylon part. Turn the camera around. Take a picture of the cat whose name is Fras. Oh, Fraschenhausen. Sounds like a new type of yogurt, which I am all up for. Skarg. Oh, Frasch. Yashplash. So head down the pier. And then what you're going to do, as you can see, there is another little geese goose right there. So we will take a picture of him. Sunday geese. Swan, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I'll try that one again. So Sunday Swan, make sure you've taken a picture of that. And then what you can do is also, that just across the other side of the way, is a picture of another cat we're going to take a picture of. Fear. Or Fire. Or FIA. Um, but basically, if you can't manage to snap a picture of the cat yet, that's fine, because we've got to go over to that area in just a little bit anyway. So don't panic if you can't get there. So head to the left and speak to El Snowmany. So then, don't leave just yet. What we need to do is talk to him again. Don't get your camera out. We don't need that yet. We just have to uh, pick the singing pirate fisherman dude uh, as the picture. Ah, 
And tidy boys, that is our first stamp and quest complete. So head back up and then we'll just go back to the left into the previous area, the sort of main hub area if you wish. And then we'll just go straight up into the next area. And we've got some lovely flowers and a pirate sleeping and everything. Uh, but before we do all that, we are going to take a picture of this fly, little bubble fly. You know, if this was uh, Fallout, uh, that bubble fly would probably do some incredible damage to us. Luckily, it's not Fallout then, isn't it? So we're going to head down and take another picture of the old frog, the old Budweiser toad. Budweiser. You'll only know that advert if you're as old as me, which is depressing. Um, head to the other side here to speak to the next photo bra. Uh, okay, we'll head back down and I'll head to the next area on the right. And what shall we see? Oh, it's a nice little beach area we got going on. Right, so a few things we're obviously going to be doing here. And first things first is we are going to set up our tripod again by pressing left on the D-pad and set it sort of just in the sort of middle of the flowers there. And then we're going to head down, head to this pier with all the seagulls on, get the camera out, and we're going to take a couple of pictures. First of all, if you have a look behind you, it's going to be the sea monster. Uh, I think it needs about a tree fitty. I said, damn you, Loch Ness Monster. Then you can interact with the hippo lady. -a. And she's all shy now. Uh, that's cute. Hey, do you want my picture taken? Well, it's tough. I need it. Because there's somebody stalking you, apparently. Again, you can just press left again to get your tripod back. You don't actually have to go up and get it. Speak to the dude taking a little sunbathing thing. Uh, and apparently he's not leaving this spot. I mean, he could literally just roll over, but... Well, that's how lazy some people get, and I don't blame them. So, on this rock here is a crab. Uh, this is another compendium photo. So, make sure you've got Mr. Crabs. I like money. And then, once that one is done, we will head uh, back, sort of, to ourselves. To, back, sort of, on the pier, is what I'm trying to say. And we need to take a picture of this sand castle here. Specifically, this little sand castle with the shell next to it. And the little flag in it. Otherwise, it just won't work. So, again, keeping your camera out, you're going to take a picture of this big ice cream, which kind of looks like a unicorn. So that'll be another one for the Photo Challengers Guild. And again, we are going to wrap our camera back out. And then if we have a look, um, just across the way, there is another cube right in the sea, and it's going to start cubing up and being all like... Wow, 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 wow. And instead of anyone just simply pushing the box aside, it decided you needed a cube to do it. So, whatever, whatever it goes, that's another quest done. That is simply lovely. Right, so we're going to head back up now. We're going to put our tripod back down, just sort of next to this bench with the seagulls on. And then we're going to go and get on the old farmer picture thing. Then again, press the Y button to get your camera out. Make sure you take a nice little picture of yourself. And that is job comprendation. As we wear sunglasses on our nose again, because our eyes are on the side of our head. Meh. Anyway, get your tripod back. And then jump off and then go past the hippo into the next area. Um, there's going to be a little bit of a storm and you're going to have to play a tiny little mini game. It is very easy though. But go ahead and speak to old duck face. When someone says follow me, it's normally a trap. Don't follow him. He will use his schlong nose on you, Mr. Schlong Nose. Uh, anyway, head up the ladder. And then you can go ahead and speak to Donald Duck again. Donald Duck. So, um, what we need to do then is actually take a picture of the tornado and then talk to Donald Duck again. So, just to... <laughs> yeah, he's like, ah, oh, mm, er, that's it, I'm not going. So, right where the sort of megaphone is right there, you need to take a picture of the tornado and show it to him. 
save it, lick it, stamp it, send it, and speak to old Duckbill face again, show him the tornado picture, and this is where we are going to start doing the little mini game. And all we're doing, now remember the sort of hide and seek that you had to do with those little wiener kids earlier on? Um, just by pointing your camera at them. Uh, you effectively, you're doing the same thing here, just with a couple of boats. So there's um, three or four to find. Um, some, rocks, some rocks do look like boats, um, but there's no time limit. There's no time limit or anything. So um, just zoom in, and uh, yes, there's one... On the left, as you see, one in the middle, and I think one on the right. So as it turns out, there was two on the right, but still, we're all good. Three done. Um, lots to go. So we got the honk attachment. This will come in handy for uh, honking. So whenever you see someone beautiful go past, you can go honk honk, and they go, mate, you're a clown, stop it. Go inside the lighthouse and interact with the present anyway, and we'll get the fishing hat, which of course we will equip. It's starting to get a little heavy now with uh, clothing items, but it's what we got to do. But now we got the honk honker, we can go out. We'll go to the right here, right next to the uh, row of seagulls. And again, instead of just walking straight through them, you can honk with the A button. So camera out, press the A button a couple of times or just once. They'll all fly away and now we can go into a brand new secluded area. Uh, it doesn't look that, I mean, it does look pretty secluded. Anyway, head up and grab the next present. What is it? What is it? It's an umbrella. Oh, well, we'll equip this one anyway, but we could have done that with the previous area, just saying. Um, so we're not going to sit down. You're going to take a picture of the next cat, Willimogen. I know it's like Willamine or something, or Willamine or something like that, is it? But uh, Willimogen. And then we're going to speak to this broski. And then this quest is basically going to be done straight away because what you can do is press the start button. Mm, like now. There we go. Now, if you go all the way to the left and go to your hike lady, which is basically the Walkman, we're going to go all the way down to the Fisherman's Whistle tune in the Stamhannon uh, bit. So, once you've got that one playing, back out, speak to him again, and you're going to get a little shoe. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And <laughs> Oh yeah, thanks, I'll get right on to listening to that. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe later. Right, that is quest number four done, so now we have four stamps. I'm trying to put them nice and neat in a row. Um, I couldn't make it all messy, but here is the old Kingfisher big fish king dude. So get your camera out, and then as soon as he pops out, take the picture. There we go, Kingfish, that's a new compendium photo, plus we will finish the quest with the crybaby singing... Nice beard though, bro. Uh, crybaby singing sailor dude. So head back, and we're back into the stinky weather, but this time we'll just go up and to the right. Then when we get back to this area, then we're going to turn the camera around uh, to the right there and we're going to speak to this broski and then the ones that we're going to do are the um, Sandcastle, the Ice Cream Unicorn and El Hippo.
Por ese intento que dan. Por ese intento que dan. Por ese intento que dan. Starting to look beautiful. So that's five out of 16 done. So uh, remaining in this area then, we'll head up. And just to the left where the sleeping pirate is, we're gonna give the little pirate a little honky donk. A little honky tonky donk. So whap it with your camera, honky tonk him. Or her, sorry. <laughs> um, make her crap herself enough times and she's gonna want us to find the pirate hat instead of the paper hat that she's got on her head. So we've got an old key, so we'll have to grab a couple of tings, of course. So we'll head to the right for the time being, back into this main area. And then, of course, what we'll do now is speak to the fisherman, brah. And, of course, give him the picture of Kingfisher, brah. Right, now we're going to come to a missable achievement. Uh, get your camera back out, and what you need to do is honk at this woman and then take a picture. Just because, um, but she'll be happy with that one. And that will get us the sparkling jump achievement. So, yeah, tidy. Everyone's happy with that one. Sparkling jump is done. Now we can go to yet another secluded area. Head to the right, get your camera out, get rid of the seagulls by honky-tonking at them. And yeah, let's go across. Press the A button to jump across. So welcome to the new age, boys. Let's go. So first things, let's head over to the right. We're going to speak to the grumpiest looking ghost you'll ever see. I suppose it's not brilliant being a ghost. You can't really eat anything and you can't do anything. You can't, you know, you're pretty pointless as a ghost in all fairness. So uh, we got a quest off him. So we'll head up to the left and up into this little area, into this big factory building. Uh, first things first, take a look at that delicious looking present staring at you with its Beautiful bowie eyes. And that gets us a hard hat, which we will equip. So we've got about six hats on and heads starting to get a bit heavy. Um, we are going to go ahead and speak to this guy, all me. <laughs> Not for long, bruh. So we're going to get our camera out, press the Y button to flip it. So we are taking a nice little selfie. Take the picture. And obviously save to the album. Back it out. Put it on the wall and go and speak to the guy again. And that is going to get us... The Employee of the Month Achievement. Nerd! And congratulations for just ruining that man's whole career and life. Right, head down, go to the right, we're going to speak to this guy, and we will choose the option. You'll fall. I mean, it's the only option, so that's the only option you will be taking. And give him a little push as well. Give him a little honky-donk. Square on the butt. There we go. And the, uh, <laughs> that world famous scream that you hear in every movie and TV show. And he falls in the water, but don't worry, he's fair, just friend. So, after speaking to this guy, then, we need to do a little bit of um, uh, fixing. Because apparently, a, in a, a factory full of engineers doesn't know how to fix this one. Uh, so, we got to do it for him. Right, so what we need to do then is just basically, you just need to interact with all things just to fix them. So, like broken pipes. Um, shoes and things like that, just point your camera at it and it's, uh, yeah, job done. Hooray! That's the only good thing about working in any factory is the breaks that you get. Um, the rest of it's kind of crap, but when you're on a break, it's uh, pretty awesome. 
Right, so let's head to the left and to the left to go back out of the factory. We've got the achievement. We've got all the things we've needed. Um, now playing. Launchable socks. Fisherman's too. Yeah, I love this one. The, the whole silence of it. Uh, now we're going to speak to the guy. There he is, just in the middle of the water. And, uh, yeah, that gets us another quest complete. Because pushing a guy in the water makes everyone happy. Mm, so... Sometimes it works out well, other times not so much. Uh, right, head to the right and now take a picture of this little buzzy bee fly thing. And by buzzy bee fly thing, of course, I mean dragonfly. Yeah, that makes sense. Head up the ramp and head to the right into the next area. And we're going to speak to the Photo Challenger Guild once more. Yes, of course, we're ready for a bloody go. That's all we've done so far, man. But the only photo that we need to uh, get her to look at is the one with you in the straw hat. And that'll complete the quest. Yay! So with that one done and the achievement out of the way, we will head down the ramp to the right and speak to this incredibly looking ghost thing. Remember, you can only see ghosts with the ghost glasses on. Remember, so in case you're wondering if you don't see a ghost. Uh, but anyway, take a picture of the sun, then show the picture of the sun to the ghost, and then that'll complete the task. So instead of just looking up and going, oh, wow, it's a sun. Uh, apparently, the picture does a... Well, it's a win-win for us. So that's 10 out of 16 done that we should be on now. Right, so interact with the plant pot here. And again, obviously we meet again. Now we uh, have to show him the picture of the weird character. Uh, remember we took a picture right at the beginning, right next to the information desk. There he is with his eyes closed like, Yo dog, you can't see me. My name's John Cena. Yeah, good luck to you with that one, mate. Right, so now we're going to head down into the next area. And, well, this one doesn't look all too familiar, does it? So turn around and take a picture of the seagull. It looks bloody beautiful. And you're going to get the achievement called Flight Ready for snapping the, the special seagull. Taking a picture of the special seagull there. So turn the camera right around and head up the couple of ramps here. And then what we'll do, we'll press the A button on the box. And, uh, want to see my lady in action? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, the fishing tower. Yeah, of course. That's, well, that's what I pay, uh, yeah. that's what I pay money to onlyfishingtowers.com. Um, anyway, now we can interact with the, or take a picture of the sort of debris, the rubbish in the sea. And there's about five or six dotted around. So all you're going to need to do then is just... Do the same for everything, take a camera of all the rubbish in the sea, and the fishing tower, which of course I'm going to cancel, I thought I was paying for only something else, but I'm going to cancel my subscription to that one. Uh, yeah, so just do it for the rest of the debris until the mini game's over. So, four left to do. Getting through it nicely now. So, we're going to head down the ramp, look to the right to see another little present. It's going to be the diving helmet, which, of course, we are going to stick on. And if you didn't think anything was heavy before, now it's getting really ridiculous. Head uh, down into the next area anyway. And, ah, look at that. Crying person, as crying kid's been reunited with his mom. How cute. Right, so, remember if you didn't manage to take a, a picture of the cat from earlier, Fear, or Fire, whatever her name was here, 
now's your time to do so. Otherwise, we can just talk to the guy of angriness. Um, we now have to find his dog, because apparently this guy has no legs or broken legs and he can't do it himself. So interact this little hut here for a little present. And now you get some rubber boots. Um, now we will equip them for now, but we are going to put the crocs back on, or the clogs, sorry, because remember we need the achievement for walking a thousand miles. So head back down, uh, press the start button, go to your inventory there, make sure that the clogs are back on. And uh, we can just uh, walk down. Man, like these clogs, <laughs> you used to be able to walk so fast. Right, now we are back into the sort of main hub area-ish. If you want to call it that, uh, we're ignoring this and going straight to the right. Now, we can honk away the seagulls in order to get the big, tasty, supremely delicious snangwidge, which is... I mean, seagulls ain't that stupid. That would have been pecked apart to death by now, that sandwich. But anyway, um, we can head up over the other ramp. We'll take a little dive straight up into the next area into the beach area. This is where the guy's dog is, by the way. So we'll head down. Now we can honk away Seagull 8 and 12. Get out of it. I'm a clown to honker. Get out, your big splonkers. And then we can just simply interact with the um, divey, uppy, put it up and down thing. You know, the... Yeah. So we can go under sea. Right, couple of compendium photos we're going to take. First of all, Interact with the jellyfish. Take a picture of the jellyfish, sorry. That's a new one. If you have a look to the left, you can see some happy carp. Thank God there's no sad carp. Because, you know, nobody liked that. That's sad. And then you may have to move ever so slightly, which in this case we did. But there should be a couple of horsies. Uh, no, not horsies. Sorry, I'm thinking of Pokemon seahorses. <laughs> right there. Um, so that should be the jellyfish, the happy carp, and the seahorses. Also, there is the swimming, the scuba potato. So make sure, so that should be the fourth one. So again, it's the, the happy carp, the jellyfish, the seahorses, and the swimming happy potato. Look back and interact with the diving chest, or the, just the regular chest. That'll get us the pirate hat, which we won't put on just yet, but we will, because <laughs> we, you know, we'll drown and stuff. Plus, we're going to get a missable achievement here as well. So if you head to the back where uh, the camera sign is, pop your camera out and just take a photo here of the wreck to get the voyage underwater. Photograph the smiling antsman. So there we go. Yeah. You don't get a stamp for it, so we'll just back out and then head back up to the surface land. <laughs> Now, now we're back on dry land. Let's get the pirate hat out. And, uh, of course, that will count towards your equipping one of every item. Um, so while we're here, once again, then, we will head up this little ramp. We're going to take a picture of little Mechie Mex. There it is. We'll give him a little pet first because, you know, that'll help us um, help him to follow us. Then we can take a picture after you've petted him. <laughs> Ooh, the happy boy. Oh man, I want a dog. I want a dog right now. Right, anyway, once that is done, you can honk a couple of times if you want. It makes no difference at all. Um, but we can now basically just head back to the guy, give him his dog back, and then, uh, yeah, let's quest him up, snap him up. Oh, but before we go too far, head down to the ramp, don't go to the next area, interact with, well, take your camera out, give her a little honk, honk again. Saw off her one tooth, or is that a tongue? I don't know what it is, but anyway. Uh, make sure then to equip the pirate hat. Once it is equipped, you can speak to the pirate, swap the hats. Again, you will equip the paper hat, and uh, yeah, we're all good, man. Another stamp done. Roof. Roof. Whoop. Whoop. 
Det måste Ja, ja du i allt och kan inte grappa mig. Ja, men även i allt och grappa. So we're finally getting through uh, to the end of the Sand and Hammer level. Uh, so we'll head back to the left in order to just get back to the main part, and then we will go up and uh, go across to the other part, which you can't swim across. So, of course, when he asks you, you've got the options to say yar, yarp, or narp. We're obviously going to say yarp. Mega arms, by the way, broski. Uh, <laughs> you got some strength, dog. Right, just uh, head to the right. And, of course, we're going to speak to the angry ghost in order to make him a bit happier because we've got his special sandwich. To be fair, mind, if I had to go to heaven or hell and I had to be in peace or whatever, literally just get me an ultimate sandwich and I will be... Well, that will that'll do me. I can now rest in peace. Right, now we need to yarp our way back over to the other sarp. I meant side. And of course, we've just got one little thing left to do. So we're going to head down, all the way down until we get to the information bit. We now just have to take a picture of the sand hammond sign. But we have to do it with a filter and a frame. So, if you press the uh, left trigger, right here on the Stan Hammonamon sign, Stan Hammonamon, uh, you can pick any frame that you want, and any filter that you want. Fat picture. The Stan Hammer fat picture sign. Uh, make sure to turn your filters off because, you know, we don't need them anymore. Then we're going to head to the left into the camera building. There it is because it's got a big camera on it, which would be a bit obvious. Speak to Broski here on the left. See, uh, give him the Stan Hammer sign photo. And boy, we're done. <laughs> Ah, look at that. Look, we got everything sorted. We are beautiful. We are now good to go. So, we'll speak to Monkey. He can sort us out our stamps. Then we can go to the next area, which is Log City. Log, Log City. Business news. It's <laughs> So, welcome to the big city, the big apple, the big tree, whatever you want to call it. But here we are at the big city, it's Log City. So, of course, as usual, we will go ahead and speak to Monkey Mans. Or oh, apparently we're going to speak to the guy on the left, first of all, before speaking to Monkey Mans. So we're going to need to take some pictures of some graffiti as well. The first one is on these elevator steps here on the left, so wait until, obviously get your camera out and wait until it's in full view. There are some shoes and some... Uh, that looks like ghost on his pants. Uh, no, no, in fact it is the ghost pants thing. So yeah, just make sure that it is in full view and that'll be the first one complete. Then we can head up to the right and enter the Big Apple with a bunch of businessmen running about. Of course, because that's how business goes. Right, get your camera out and take a picture of the... not that guy, but the pigeons. You might need to go a little bit closer to them if you're having trouble with the guys running. Get out of it! Yeah, thank you. Right then, the Piggyon. So that is the uh, first compendium of the level, the Piggyon. Right, go ahead and speak to the Lion Bra on the branch. And uh, he gives us a another quest, which we'll do in just a bit. 
Um, but what we're going to do first of all is uh, we're going to take a photograph just in front of the lion, the clock tower. And when you do that, you'll get the achievement called the grand clock tower. Makes perfect sense. So uh, once you've taken a picture of that, you should be good to go. And now we can head to the top right and uh, get your camera out, look up, and you will see another kitty cat hanging about. Um, it is a bit of a compendium, though. Oh, it's not, sorry. No, it's not It's not compendium. It is just uh, for the stamp. Sorry, got in there a little bit uh, thing again. But, yes, so take a picture, and that should be all good. That's 1 out of 18 done. Don't take a picture of this thing. That's not graffiti, but to the left of it is graffiti. So, <laughs> there we go. Uh, uh, not very good looking graffiti. It's sad. This stupid businessman, get the head out of my way. Right, anyway, talk to the woman here on the right. And she's obviously one of those, uh, you know, she's a Instagram influencer who gets paid to tell people that her life is so much better than theirs. Uh, go ahead and speak to the hot bean guy. And of course we are willing to help him out because we'll do anything for achievements. Uh, we get a hot bean hat. That does look like a pretty decent hot bean, but we're going to equip the hat, of course. And we are good to go. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to take a picture now. So get your camera back out, and then you're going to take a picture of the ladia with the hot bean in front of her. Uh, try and get a close-up if you can. There we go. Without the stupid businessmen running in the way. And then show her the picture. <laughs> Give her a little honk-a-tonk as well, if you donk. <laughs> Yeah, this is like Toad's Perf. Oh, thanks for helping out. Yeah. Anyway, once that's done, head to the right. And what we're going to do is take a picture of a little another good boy just on the right over here. There we go. Let's get your camera out. Zoom in, little sausage boy. Portillo. Portillo. Portillo or Portillo, whatever you want to call the dog, that's what the dog's name is. Now we're going to speak to the woman again, who somehow has gotten here. Um, but we actually need to take another picture of her now in front of the Boiger and Chips. Once you've done that, show her the Boiger and Chips picture. That's totes awesome, bruh. Uh, so, for one, we get e, uh, e a, -U -A, a card stamp, which is nice, so thank you very much. We will also get the 100 followers achievement in just a minute, uh, but we're going to go inside the coffee shop first. Uh, what we're going to do is take a picture of the mouse just after we speak to the Ladia, the girl behind here. So yeah, once you've done that then, now we can sort this one out. We'll whip out our camera, of course, and take a little picture of the mouse. There's a couple about. When Once we've done this, though, and we've got the compendium updated, or the Pokedex, as I like to call it, with the old ratatars, um, get your camera out and just honk at the remaining mice to get rid of them all. <laughs> So we got a stamp and we got a um, toilet bun, shall we call that? Because that ain't looking like no cinnamon bun freshly baked out of the oven. Freshly baked out of someone's oven. Someone's at rear end oven, but uh, anyway. That's what we got anyway, so we can move on. So get out of here. And we are going to now take a picture of the uh, uh, chick over right here. This will get us the 100 followers achievement because we've done her little quests. And so she's all happy as chappy now. Right, now we're going to talk to any one of these two here. <laughs> Well, sorry about that, our lad. Um, but we need to get the frisbee back, which we will soon. Right, from here we can get a picture out, take a picture of the graffitied eyeballs on the wall. I'll do it, Tim. And then we can obviously back out, and then we can head left and go back to the previous area with all the running businessmen about. <laughs> Ooh. 
So we're heading back to Lion, the old Lion Bar, who's uh, looking like he's good in retirement now. But we're going to speak to him. Um, we give him the cinnamon bunnage, and we also get a stampage for our troubles. Um, but there is a, another little animal that we are going to need to do. The There's the parrot that just came down with a mohawk. So what you need to do is basically just head off over to the side, wait until the parrot comes down, and then snap a picture of it. It's a theme portal, man. And uh, you ain't going to do it from this side, because there's a big fat lion in the way. Yeah, I do apologise that did take me a while. For some reason, I couldn't get uh, to grips with move away and parrot will come down. That took me a while to figure out that one out for some reason. Anyway, we head into the left once we've done that. You can cross the zebra crossing and you will not ever get run over. We are going to speak to the ghosticle of life. <laughs> So, we've already got the picture, so we can already just crack on. All you're going to do is show them a photo of either the square flowers or the uh, cotton candy looking flowers. All you got to do, and then apparently he'll just float away and be good. I mean, if he misses Oakleville so much, he is literally a ghost, so you think he can just, you know, glide over and it'll be no problem. But, well, apparently not this time. So now go and speak to the stressed looking dude. Well, if you park in places you're not supposed to, chances are you're probably going to get a parking ticket. Right, uh, take a picture of El Turtle. He's not one of the TMNTs, unfortunately, but uh, he does uh, go for our Pokedex well, so that's all good. Then take a, poker, a picture of the stressed dude. Uh, obviously, he is very happy with that, as you can tell. Damn, man, that face. Uh, I think I just took a close-up because, you know, I'm a douche. Uh, then we are going to just head to the steps right here. And, uh, yeah, we're not, we don't worry about that. We're going to get our camera out because Mr. Lurky Pants is hiding under the stairs, which, of course, is not dodgy at all. So we're going to head up. We are now going to speak to this guy who, because we got the hot bean chili bean hat on... He's like, oh my god, and I don't blame him. Oh, we're also, by the way, we're also by the bit by the frisbee. So get your camera out, have a look up, and then honk. Honk your tonk to get the donkey crow away. Ah, are you honk? Or whatever honk sounds comes out of your pants. Uh, uh, anyway, ignore that one. Uh, the frisbee is right in the middle where stressed broski is. We finally have the frisbee. So we are now good to go. So we will be back to this area in just a little bit. But for now, we're going to head um, to... Oh, we're going to take a picture of the dog. Sorry, dog graffiti before we move on. Uh, just on the opposite side of the building right there. Holding up the traffic as we do. But we're going to go right into the new area now. Hey, the first thing we're going to do is head under the bridge. Get your camera out and take a picture of the cheese graffiti. It ain't easy being cheesy. Or... Cheers. Yes, please. Ah. And if anyone knows what that last bit is from, then I will pay you very much. Because, uh, well, he's a legend of animation. Uh, right, we are going to talk to the photo dude again. Um, now, there's only one particular photo that I, for some reason, had trouble with and missed it the first time. But we go into the building here. We're going to speak to... <laughs> this is obviously not an Easter egg um, for any Spider-Man films or anything like that, you know. But anyway, you need to talk to this guy twice, start running out, and then he will ask you to take a picture. And the first picture we're actually going to take, once we equip the reporter hat here, the first picture we're going to take is of this guy's moustache. Go. Go. 
So after being shouted at by a random unknown person with a glorious mustache, we're out of here and heading to the right, or sort of straight up, whichever way, into this new area. And the first thing we need to do is get your camera out and take a picture. But you have to take a picture of the girl skateboarding, uh, sort of, while she's on the rails. So mid-grind, that'll do it. So as long as the sparks are flying, that should be a sufficient enough photo. Um, again, you can talk to some people if you want, but there's really no point. Screw him. We're going to speak to the businessman who is obviously, when people are this hungry, of course, they sweat buckets. Um, yeah, I can, uh, yeah. Well, you got to equip your hot bean hat, of course, to do that. Then speak to him, um, and I don't blame him, to be honest. When I eat, I sweat. When I don't do anything, I sweat. I'm an unfit piece of crap. But I'm so beautiful, so it's okay. Right, go sort of in between the middle of the drain and the tree right here. Get your tripod out. Again, left on the D-pad. And then what you're going to do is just hide around the corner. And you're going to see a monster is going to pop out. There we go. So, <laughs> hell of a monster this guy is. But uh, take a picture of the monster anyway. And that will come in handy for later on. Uh, so, whap your tripod back out. You're all good. Get your camera where it is and... Take a picture of the cat graffiti straight in front of us. And then with that, turn around. And then we're going to take another picture of a little potato skateboarding. A little potato skateboarding. See, you can do many things with potatoes. Not just eat them and mash them. And gash them and flash them. So head down into the new area. Now, this is where I got this bit wrong the first time. So what you need to do is head close to the lamppost. And you need to try and take a picture of all three people in the back and the pigeons. Replace the photo is absolutely fine, but one of the quests is for um, getting five living things in one picture. So I actually missed it the first time, which was a pain. Um, so, obviously we're going to speak to the rat skulls, obviously very hardcore. And they muddied our camera because, you know, that's hardcore of them. But what we're going to do is now show all of the graffiti art. So, obviously the dog, the cat, the cheese and the other two that we found earlier. Yeah, ding dong dilly diaz, for neighborino, friendino, we are now part of the Rat Skulls crew. So now we're about to get really arty here. So if we head back to the left, we are going to go uh, in this area just. Uh, up to the right to where little potato skateboarder dude is. We're going to now get our camera out and there should be a little a little turd to uh, a literal piece of turd. There it is. So you need to um, take a picture of it while the camera is muddy. Um, you know, try and take a few as well just to really uh, crap up your phone. Ah, get it? Crap up your phone. You're taking pictures of crap. Anyway, once that's done, talk to the taxi guy to get over the other side of town. I will pay you in pictures. Thanks, buddy. Here's a picture of my side boob. Uh, so we're going to go to the right. We're going to speak to the two guys with the frisbee. That'll get us a frisbee back. And another stamp added to the collection. Now we're also about to end another quest and get another achievement as well. So we're going to head back to the very beginning of the area. So we'll uh, just head back down the elevator. When we start walking again, there we go. Which our clogs on. So nip it down and then speak to the guy. He's basically now going to clean our camera for us, which is just super nice. But realistically, I wouldn't trust anyone in the city because they'll probably rob you. So uh, just how it goes, man. <laughs> So 
So once that's done, before you leave, make sure to take a picture of him to get the a new job achievement. This is because he's all happy now because you literally paid him like, I don't know, like a buck or something in order to clean our camera. Which we could have just done ourselves, but we're nice. We feel sorry for people. Right, so that is a new job complete. So now we're going to head back up. So for the first time, we're going to continue heading right this time. Everyone's happy in this area. We're going to speak to the little chickadee on the left there with the photos guild. Now she's basically saying you need to photograph someone in a confusing situation. Um, now we've already done that, of course, with the guy with the parking ticket because he parked in a place he shouldn't be parking. Even though some of the parking ticket guys can be a little, uh, well, you know. <laughs> right, so make sure you've snapped the photo here and that's, yep. Yeah, Pretty confusing. Frustratingly confusing, by the way. I'm not sure how it works in America, but in Britain, Jesus Christ, the, the traffic wardens and the parking ticket guys are, they're, they're lethal. They'll find any excuse to, uh, just to charge you. Uh, but we're going to take a picture of the camera, not a picture of the camera, we're going to take a picture of the cube, which is up on the left-hand side building. Uh, yeah, traffic wardens in Britons, man. They literally just go, how can I get paid lots of money? Oh, I know, somebody's just gone over a yellow line. Ah, yeah, douche nozzles, man. So, Yahoo, we've saved someone, incredibly. So that, that'll do, look. Uh, but that's going to be number 10 out of 18 complete, no? It's not that. Right, this is always a fun one. Now, we're going to go into the building here. It's just an art studio. Speak to the uh, Schlonger Nose. Of course, our name is Schlong Nose, but uh, he's got a Schlonger Nose. Head to the right and interact with the speaker. Ah, excuse me. Drinking a brew. So, once we have done that, then we will now have the honour of naming our poop mud picture. So, uh, go to, uh, obviously press start, go down to album, find the poop picture, press the A button on it, and then you can edit it with the start button. Now, you can literally name it whatever you like. I go for a nice mature name, um, which, you know, is just me all over, isn't it, really? I mean, not really me all over, not the poop nose STD, that's not me all over. The poop or the nose or the STD, by the way. Um, but what he says in relation to this is just hilarious. Oh, mate, you're telling me this is an imbalanced society, jeez. With all the poops and the noses and the STDs flying around, Jack. Man, that's exactly what I was trying to go for, so thank you, Schlong Nose. Right, so once we've done that, we've got the stamp, we can now get the hell out of here. And we will take a picture of the business pigeon on top of the police car. The business pigeon, yes. Because video games, you can do all types of awesome stuff. Um, now, talk to the ghost, and we are about to date a ghost. I hope you've got a... <laughs> a I mean, how do you even sort of date a ghost? How would you even make love with the ghost? Would you get a condom? Would there be, there any, would there be any point? Can you feel anything? Can they feel anything? Hmm, interesting. Anyway, head to the left. That's something for everyone to think about, isn't it? If you dated a ghost, what <laughs> what would go on? Uh, but now what we're going to do then, we're going to put on the hot bean hat. Make sure that's on because this is the third and final guy. It's <laughs> Then just go ahead and speak to Granny Grandma Scarf. So we'll sort out Grandma in a minute, uh, but first things first, we're going to have a look at this little newspaper potato. 
Uh, Tato Tourist. So that's another one for the Pokedex or the Compendium photo, whatever you want to call it. Um, like I say, we'll sort Granny out in a minute, but we need to take a picture of the car first. So make sure to take a picture of the car. Doesn't matter if your ghost lover is there or not, just as long as you've got a picture of the car. And as I said, we'll take a picture, uh, we'll sort Granny out, and then hopefully she can get us that uh, PS5 after all that new Xbox that you've been wanting. <laughs> uh, right, so, this is it. Oh, special surprise. Oh, thank God it was just a boo. And not a ghost boo. Buh. Uh, terrible. Sorry. Uh, but that is number 12. You literally walked a little place and then she was happy with that. That'll do us. That'll do us. We don't have to pay for the rest of the dinner. We can just walk out. Happy with that. Right. Now we interact with the <laughs> dirt pile here. And again, we're going to need to take, uh, show him the photo of the creeper. So now we will continue to head up the steps and we're going to go to the right hand side steps first as there is a little gift for us, just wait in, chill in, open it up and then ta-da, it's sneakers! So this will make you very much faster but again, we can't go too fast because we've still got to get the achievement for wearing the clogs for a thousand mileages. So unfortunately, we've still got to go slow as a hot bean dog. Right, so now we can head up the next set of steps, which is basically straight in front of us. Whip your camera out, and then directly down is another cube. Yeah. There you go, son. You say it wasn't too bad. Now let's go and get you that new Xbox, huh? <laughs> wink, wink. I mean, I know we're all desperate, um, but would you be desperate enough to screw an old person if it meant they bought you an Xbox or a PS5? Interesting to hear what your thoughts would be on that. Right, uh, we're not interacting with the bin. We're going straight up and into this tower house. It's actually a fashion show thing. But we are going to need to put on the reporter hat and speak with the bouncer on the left-hand side. So once we're allowed in, thank you Grumpy and Dumpy, um, we are going to actually need to put on the cowboy hat and then talk to this girl here. So make sure to put on the cowboy hat first and a fashion show shall begin. So now this is a sort of, it's not even a mini game, it's really nothing, but all you got to do then is just take a couple of pictures of this um, pea with legs, I, I suppose, or orange with legs. Just take a couple of pictures, you know, three or four to be on the safe side, and then you can just press the B button to back out, and that'll end the fashion show. There's only so many times you can watch a pea with longer legs, you know, like Slender Pea Man or something. There's only so many times you can watch that. So press the B button to back out, That'll end, and then we can go back into the same room where the two women were and speak to them again. Right, so, thank you very much for that, but we are going to pop on our reporter hat once again. Hello, oh, it's me, what do you mean, DJ Nerd? I'm coming to tell you. Because absolutely nobody speaks like that in the news these days. 
Um, but we're all done with this area. We can now just head back out. And we're going to start mopping up sort of everything on this level now and get it finished, done and dusted and fun on the bun. So we're going to head up the steps. Uh, that's not steps as it turns out. That's steps. Head up the next steps and just take a left. We are actually now going to show the photographer guy a couple of things. So the things that we're going to need to show him are... The whole five living things things, which will be uh, uh, one of the pigeons. So you'll have to press the right bumper a couple of times. And make sure it's the pigeon shot with all three of the characters in the background, plus the three pigeons in front. Then you're going to need to take a photo, uh, show him the photo of the girl skateboarding, um, doing a cheeky grind. Down the lamppost. And the next one is... Mm, if I remember rightly, it is the car, the car, the br what looks like Brum, and the ghost. So doing this is going to unlock us the city professional achievement for completing the photo challenges in Lag City. So we're going to go back into the building and then what you're going to do is show Mustache Man one of the photos from the fashion shoot and then his own uh, glorious mustachiness and he'll be well happy with that mate. So that's the end of that chapter there. And old John Jonah Jameson from definitely not from uh, the Spider Man films or Spider Man <laughs> universe has just got us fired. You're fired. Keep the hat. Um, but yes, now we have done. We've just got one more quest left to do. So we're just going to head back to the main beginning area. Speak to the Hot Bean Bros, and that is that. Ta-da! There we go, we have done it. The business executed achievement should unlock, slash trophy should unlock. And now we'll head downstairs and visit Kirilberg. So speak to little monkey mans, get on the bus, and get your buns out of here, hunts. <laughs> No, this is effectively the last area in the game. Um, again, obviously quite a bit to do. Plus, we've got the Basto DLC to do if you're wondering why we've still got uh, just under an hour and a half left. But here we go again. So, uh, the... Going long achievement for me is going to pop very shortly, um, so hopefully it's either pop for you by now, going long for walking a thousand miles in clogs, uh, but we're going to go up and speak to these balloon people first. How can they talk? They've literally just got a string for a body with no functioning organs, but anyway, we're all good. Uh, so this is where the walking a thousand miles in clogs has unlocked for me. Um, hopefully it'll unlock for you. If it hasn't already, it should unlock for you soon. Take a picture of the balloon dog first. Again, it's not alive because it's a balloon, um, but still impressive, none the least. And then we need to get rid of these big, fat, chunky goats. They're not fat or chunky, but uh, we need to get rid of them anyway. So, um, for what? For first of all, I'm looking at the exactly wrong peak. There we go. He's just behind me. So just point your camera at him, and he's gonna head off ski. Then we're going to snap a little tiny hedgehog. So we're going to go up the ramp here. Before heading through, make sure to snap L Hedgehog. 
Not exactly Sonic, is he? No. Right, head back down. And then we are going to go through the building this time. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's a cute little cozy house. A couple of cats to take a pictures of then. Here's one on the bed. Nariko. Hello, Nariko. And there's one just on top of the stairs. There he is. Mikey. Or Mikey? Mikey or Mikey? Uh, either one. Photograph the two cats and get out of there. That looks very, very comfortable. Those balloons, man. How You're living in the wrong place for a start. So head into the left and you can interact with this little sign here. This is going to start another quest. Oh, well, the quest has already started. We need to basically find the three goats. Uh, go ahead and speak to the old schlonged man. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have said it like that. So we are going to equip, equip the climbing boots for now. Um, again, if you still need to go in long achievement, you'll still have plenty of opportunities to uh, swap your boots around and uh, get that achievement. But for now, we need these climbing boots on to start climbing up some ropes. So climb up the two ropes. And, I mean, it's not, not exactly a massive... Of course we're a natural. We climbed up two tiny square peaks. Uh, but if you get your camera out, look to the left slightly and take a picture of the big giant snowball. For some reason, this old guy was so terrible at what he did, he couldn't even see the big giant snowball behind an obvious mountain. You can see it right there. I mean, he's... I mean, he's old. He's pretty much blind, so he probably couldn't see it at all. So, whap your snowball out. Stick it in the guy's mouth. Or in his eyes. Wherever you want to put your balls, it's up to you. And, uh, yeah. Warms, warms his heart. As long as that's all, it warms up. Again, make sure to equip the Eric Cartman puffer hat. There you go. And then he's going to head inside because... For some reason, you stood outside for hours waiting for our arrival or something. Anyway, take a picture of the snowman just having a chill. Yeah, get it? Chill? Snowman? Because he's cold? Yep. And then if you go past the snowman, just in between on this wall here, we need to take a picture of this random symbol. It'll all come to fruition later on. So now we can head inside the house. We're actually going to take a picture of the old man who's sparkling and very happy now. Uh, that'll get us the happy youth achievement. And I feel a lot of us, a lot of us will remember our youth with fond memories. Especially when you used to wake up with no back pain. Um, that's just what happens when you hit your 30s. Back pain even when you go to sleep. It's disgusting. Right, so next up then what we'll do is we're going to head back up the ramp. And this time we're going to go to the right into the newest area with a couple of ski lifts and stuff. We're going to set up our tripod in just, uh, just ahead of that snow yeti board thing and then of course we're going to set it up and take a picture of ourselves there we go looking super cute with our little Eric Kirtman's perfect hit cute now we also need to get a picture of this fast ass bird now instead of trying to follow him like I was doing here just put your camera in sort of one position and then when he flies past uh, then you'll be able to get him but it may take you a few times because this dude is particularly fast Eh, <laughs> got him, ma. So, Snowbird, so make sure that is part of your new Pokedex. I'm just going to keep calling it a Pokedex forever now. Uh, so that's the Snowbird done. Then we're going to go inside the house and speak to Zeladia. She's going to give us a scarf, which, of course, we are going to need to equip. So once we've equipped that, then, what we're going to do is head back to the beginning area with the two balloon people without any organs. So I don't know how they talk still. And then we're going to climb up the rope which is in the sort of back of the screen. So, here we go. But why would you move to a snowy peak for if you know your balloons and you can blow away easy? I still, I, I digress, I do not get that. So, uh, continue forwards, another new area. We've got a snowman just chilling, but we're gonna head to the right first and go inside the house. 
And then what we're going to do is get a camera out. We're going to take a little picture of the little dog taking a snooze, little Teddy Teddy. And Teddy is another part of the Pokedex. Right, we are going to leave now. Um, in fact, that should be the last one. So you should get the achievement now called Look at All Those Cuties. Uh, and then we can take a picture of the snowman. Or honk at him, whichever one it was. And then again, big massive schlongly nose pops out. Uh, but he does give us a um, little quest to do. So yes, you should have got the look at those cuties. That was for photographing all of the dev devs team's animals, which is quite cute actually. I love stuff like that. Right, so now we can go inside the building and we're going to speak to the old general at the back. So, I didn't know what to expect, and it pretty much wasn't that, if I'm being honest. So, there we go, it wasn't a priest at all. Right, so head to the right, and then before climbing up the ropes, you can see another symbol that we are going to... I'm sorry, no more priest jokes now, honest. Um, they are the children of... Go no, no more jokes. Right, so climbing up the rope, and then uh, take another photograph. This time I'm going to take a photograph of the moon, and looking moonish. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we're going to speak to the Photos Guild guy. And since we've got all the pictures, we just need to show him the pictures of the moon, the snowman, and the balloon dog. So show him all three photos to complete this challenge. All right, so now we need to be doing some more climbing. We're going to climb down, then climb to the rope on our right, head through to the next area, and then we're going to climb a rope on our left and speak to a, a big fluffy Yeti boy. And after we've got the quest from him, we're going to go to the left and speak to Mr. Adventurer Boy. So this is who we need to be taking all these pictures, so make sure to take a picture of the broski in the mountain. And that'll do, and then what we'll do is head up. And then if we spin the camera around, there is going to be another one. Yeah, you can spin it all the way around, don't worry, there we go. So there is another one right there, so we need to take a picture of that particular drawing as well. And then we can just climb up the rope. Now, there will be another goat up here. Uh, but you might have to go a little bit closer to the edge, because he's on one of these small rocks. He is there somewhere. Yeah, he is. So yes, make sure that you've got the quest here from the Photo Gilders Guild Challenge. And before moving on, take a picture of the Hoot Hoot for your Pokedex. So oh, there we go. Now go to sleep. Now, continue onwards. And we have a lot of fluffy boys. So we are going to take another picture of this one fluffy ball called Fluff Ball. That makes perfect sense. That'll do. Uh, so that'll be another quest done. And then before climbing up the rope there, you can see another painting that we need to take a picture of. If you can, just in case, <laughs> just try and take a picture of it straight on. I don't know if it'll make too much of a difference, but, you know, better to be safe than sorry. 
And finally, don't go down into the next area yet. Go all the way around and you can see another present for us. Hurrah! It's a space helmet, which we are going to equip. It's getting very heavy, although it's keeping us warm in this disgusting weather. So, climbing up the rope. And then we can head through into the uh, observatory. What looks like an observatory, anyway. So, what you need to do is take a picture of the little UFO potato. Potato alien. Plenty of them if potatoes have been left in your cupboard for too long. And then what you need to do, we're going to have to set up our tripod. And then, well, not here. We need to set up the tripod sort of more towards the sort of bins and things on the left-hand side. Get close to the potato, because what you need to do is get a picture of you, potato alien, and the moon in the background there. So that is what you need. Once you've taken that picture, that's another stamp completo. And next up then, if we just go around the side again, we need to take a picture of all these beautiful, pretty little bright lights. And now we can go and talk to the astronomical nanomagist. So just go up and interact with the big erect thing that's just popped itself out. <laughs> and simply look at the asteroid and then everyone's gonna crap it. Because, you know, an asteroid hurtling towards you at a fantastic speed like that is probably going to, yeah, make people crap them in all fairness. <laughs> Right, so let's go on the hunt for an asteroid, apparently. So let's get out of here now. We're going to climb back down the rope and head to... Well, from where you're looking right now, it's effectively going down um, into the next area to talk to the woman to get some ski goggles, which, again, we will equip. And now we need to get another photo of a, uh, to update our Pokedex. So, it's fast, but it is just a potato having a little ski right here, so you need to be quite quick with it. Uh, exactly not what I just done there. Reflexes of an old man. There we go, look, we got the potato ski. That'll do it, now we can climb up the rope. And then what we're going to do, we are actually going to take another picture eventually. There we go. So we need to take a picture of this snowman's head first, the one with the hat on. Should be okay from there. That should be fine. So just make sure to take the picture. And is this the area with the... Yeah. Yes, it is the other area with the goat as well. So you need to take a picture or have a point at the third goat. It's there somewhere. For some reason, I'm being dongtastic once again. And now we can have a bit of fun with this. We can ski our way down. Whee! And then we can take these ski seats all the way down as well. Whee! And what you're going to immediately see then is a snow torso. Snowman's torso on the uh, table right here. So we'll take a picture of its scarf. But um, what I would do is recommend taking it from the sort of front of the snowman's torso. So as it turns out, we've got a snowman serial killer on the loose. And uh, he's just toying with us now, isn't he? He's a smart dude. It's like the, Z the Zodiac or the Snowdiac. Ha! Ah, good one. Right, so after you've taken the picture of the Snowdiac's uh, torso latest victim, go to the left and head down the ramp. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and now we can uh, take a seat on the bench and listen to some goats singing. Oh, right after you take a picture of these mountain goats for the Pokedex, of course. Oh, 
All right, so I didn't want to listen to it for too long. As long as we got the stamp and we got the Pokedex goat updated, there we go, we're good to go. Right, we're going to climb back up the rope in the sort of beginning area here. And then we're going to head straight through again. And what kind of looks like Snorlax having a sleep, it's actually just an asteroid. It's the asteroid, that's where it fit, that's where it went down. So we need to take a picture of the asteroid and we'll take a picture of the Meteo Pal as well, which is just very cute. So that's like the, uh, yeah, that's the first Pokemon you catch, Mete Meteo Pal. And then the, obviously the asteroid is its bigger evolution then. So, uh, we're going to take a, uh, obviously speaking of this guy, you need to take a picture, show him the picture, sorry, of the Snowman Torso and the Snowman Head. And he's going to be like, oh my god, the Snowdiac killer struck again. No. Um, but he's put him back together now. So, yes, I'm sorry to say there is no such thing as the Snowdiac killer. Um, which, of course, Netflix will probably make that into a documentary somehow anyway. And then cancel it after the first season. Uh, but anyway, once that's done, we can <laughs> climb up the rope. Yes, can't beat a bit of Netflix bashing, can you? Especially when they got rid of all the password sharing stuffs. So, heading into the next area, speak to the Yeti and show him a picture of the Floofenballen. So, that one, that quest has been done, now we're going to head around to the other side and then we're, once again we're going to climb up the rope. Go ahead and speak to the photo chickadee and then we're going to show her the bright lights. That's all you have to do, that's... Sometimes that's all it... If you just want to impress someone, show them some bright lights and they're going to be like, wow. And then you get the conversation flowing. Growing. And man, I'd like to place my hand upon your goddamn achievement and squeeze. Now, nah, so that should get the achievement. That was a Tenacious D song, by the way. Uh, so once you got the achievement, come into this area of the fluff balls, climb up the rope again, go into the asteroid monomonomagist, show her the picture of the asteroid, and tattle do, pig, tattle do. So now everything and everyone is losing their proverbial schniznatch. Uh, we are going to head down the rope a couple of times and then we're going to go into the right area. So down this rope. And we are going to go down again into the next area. Over the bridge, far away. Head down the rope. And then what you're going to see is, you probably probably missed them, uh, but they are these big ice blocks which we haven't wanted to get through just yet. Now we're going to, so honk a couple of times at these big ice blocks and, uh, well, away we go. And just in case you want to do extra, extra damage, honk about a thousand times. So this is the area there where the um, balloon child has been sort of left. You get the achievement there, all geared up, and now we can climb the rope. Speak to Balloon Boy, and then we'll be able to time on our waist. I was going to say time on our rope then, which sounds bad. <laughs> so, after this bit, head up the ramp. Uh, just doing a bit of, uh, I was just going to see how windy the balloon could get. Give him a couple of honks, and we've just rescued a, what looks like a Russian with an awesome moustache. Um, but he'll go in his house, interact with this next ice block as well, just to get that one out of the way, so honk it. And then go right into the next area. More wind. Uh, get rid of this next ice block. Ha 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 ha. Oh, and just take the proverbial piss once again like I do. And then we can get our tripod out. Make sure to hide around the corner. There's going to be a monster that will appear. There he is. So just take a picture of this happy little fellow.
and then get the hell out of there, man, before you get your ass blown away. Uh, and apparently I can't climb up the ramp. That's how much of a good gamer I really am. Okay, so again, let's get out of here. Let's get out all the way to the um, up, left. No, up, left, left. Sorry, I thought we were going to go for the uh, honking of the ice cube. But we're back in the safe fish zone now. So let's just continue to climb down and down. So into this sort of newish little area, we're going to go inside the building here to find the man, the little Russian man who, I, I assume he's Russian anyway, he looks Russian for some reason. Not saying that all Russians look like that, by the way. Uh, but uh, interact and take a picture of the cube. And that'll get everything going. A fire will roar and the guy will warm up. Ah, look at that. That is actually the most satisfying feeling when you're absolutely freezing and then you just get a bit of warmth. Mm. Right, so now we need to do the Ice Wizards quest, which we will effectively do in just a minute. Plus, we're going to get an achievement for completing the Pokedex. Hooray! So, when a strange man offers you to go inside his portal, you will obviously do it. So that's what we're going to do. And then, before interacting with the deer, make sure to take a picture of this Cosmo deer. That will get us the Collect Them All achievement. Again, hopefully providing that you've got all of the Pokedex complete. If not, you should be able to um, have a look and uh, just go through each town anyway. It'll tell you which ones you have and haven't collected, so that's not too bad. Then you can interact with him. I suppose you can take a picture after as well, but to be on the safe side. So once you've interacted with him, we can get out of the house and down. And, in fact, we are now going to pretty much be visiting Kiraberg's Peaks. So, we're just basically heading back to the um, first area. Let's get Happy birthday to you. Can't eat no cake because it doesn't actually go anywhere. So, eesh, awkward. Right, so what we're going to do, we are going to speak to the monkey. And now we are going to go onto the bus to visit the peaks of Kiroberg. It's So we'll get the so close now achievement. Somehow this <laughs> hilariously the bus is right on the top. Um, but all we're going to be doing then, uh, effectively in this part, is just following the path. There will be a couple of um, those sort of drawings, paintings, that we will have to take a look at. I believe, yes, there's one, I think. So, when we climb up this rope here, what we're going to do is climb to the uh, climb down the other side of the rope, first of all. So, apologies about that a little bit there. And then, there is the next picture, diamond, and everyone's like, Whoa, bro, it's a diamond. Whoa, bro, it's like real life. Then we can climb up, and up, and up the rope again, and now we are going to photograph the Toem Phenomenomenon. So get your camera out, take, oh, just leave it on it, and it'll light up the night sky. Lanya. Oh, it's beautiful. It's Aurora Borealis. At this time of year, at this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. May I see it? Mm, no. And everyone should. If you're a Simpsons fan, you'll know what quote that is from. Anyway, you will get the achievement there for experiencing the Toem phenomenon. 
And now we can just head all the way back down, get and get onto the bus, and then we've just got a few more achieve a few little things left to do. Um, wrong side of the rope, by the way. So we've got a few more achievements left to do to finish the base game, and then we can crack on with Basto. Well, actually, when I say that, I mean it is the end of the, it's going to be the end of the game. Uh, so the credits are going to start rolling. What you can do is, if you just want to flick through the credits quickly, you can just press up on your right stick, I believe. And that will go through. It'll only take about a minute, a minute and a half, something like that, just to nip through the credits. But no, fair play to everyone who created this game. It's absolutely, it's genuinely such a relaxing and it's a fantastic game. And hopefully we will see something more from them. Um, but yeah, so congratulations to everyone who worked on the game. But after the credits, where you've got quite a few more things to do. No time at all, wasn't it? Right, we're back to Homelander, so nip inside your house and your nan's gonna be like, Hey, child, is that you? I can't see. My glasses are on my nose still. Damn it. So there we go guys and gals, that's the 100% done, even though it says 97% base game right there. All achievements done, so... Kibé! Okay, I lied. Let's continue the adventure. So, um... Yeah, awesomely, thanks to a lot of people helping out with the devs here, they were able to release some DLC, and like I said, because, uh, well, because it's now come out on uh, Xbox and Game Pass, Everything's all integrated, so you're not having to pay an extra 16 bucks, which is just awesome. Unlike some other games, and I'm looking at you, man-eater. Oh, we got the base game on Game Pass, but if you want the DLC, pay £16. Ah, no thanks. Right, so, um, this, again, this is the, basically, effectively, going to be just telling you where the DLC is. You get the Viking Express ticket. Uh, after you finish the game, you do have to complete the main game first in order to get to uh, Basto and the DLC quest But again, we've got just a couple of other things to do first So what where we will head is straight to Kiruberg. We're gonna head to Kiruberg first get these ones out of the way um, Because we are going to basically find the Mounted Explorer guy, the one who wants to tell us all the stories, uh, so we'll get two achievements from this one here. So, go straight up, and then climb up, and then straight through. In fact, just keep following the path until we get to the Mountain Explorer. So here he is then, so all you got to do now is just show him every picture um, of the, you know, every cave drawing that we've seen and you do have to listen to his story every time. So when he says, oh I got a story about this man, um, you do have to listen to the story in order to get the quest done and the achievement to unlock. So it's going to take a few minutes to go through each picture and listen to his awesome stories. Super fun. Hey an old man's talking. Ooh. <laughs> 
Ice Fighter, that is the achievement for completing all the quests in Kiraberg. Take a picture of the mountain guy who, who's here for some reason, got absolutely beautiful in that picture. Uh, but that'll get you the a great story achievement as well. So once those two are done, we can actually head back and now we're going to head to Oaklaville. And all we're here for then is just one little achievement, which we didn't get earlier on, so uh, interact with the snail. What you're going to do is get your camera out and then honk a whole bunch of times until he gets to the finish line. That'll get us the slow and steady achievement. Right, so while we're here, we'll finish up the last couple of quests. Uh, so head into the hotel, motel, and then we're going to speak to this uh, weird-looking Dennis the Menace dude. All he wants you to do is get all of the monsters up. So they're not the animals, of course. So there was all the monsters from all different regions. So make sure to show him every picture of every monster. Apart from the Loch Ness one, who still needs about tree fitty. So this is going to get us the monster mask, which we can, uh, <laughs> which we can now wear, and it just makes us look slower and baggagier than than ever. Right, one more quest left to do to get the strong as an oak achievement for completing all the quests here in Oaklabil. So heading obviously up to the left and then up the stairs and continue onwards and continue onwards again. And continue onwards through the door. Trudy door. Oh, Declan managed to uh, help me out with that one. There is somebody out there called Trudy door. And that is just awesome to me. So we are going to need to put on our ghost glasses. 
So uh, let's pop them on. Let's get rid of the ski stuff. Let's get the ghost glasses going, boy. Speak to the ghost, the cool ass ghost with a crabby old mustache. And um, yeah, that's effectively it. That's since we helped out every other ghost, that helps him out. Lazy kid. There, we now get the complete, a true completionist achievement for completing all quests in the base game and completing all the quests in Oaklerville as well. So a nice couple of rarities cracking on there. Hooray! Right, so now what we're going to do, next achievement we're going to be going for is for equipping every base game item at least once. So just head back on yourself. And now we are once again going back to Stan Hammonen. Stan Hammonen. And in fact, we're going to get we're going to be getting the last achievement of the base game before we visit Basto. So, to visit Basto, we need to be in Stan Hammonen anyway. Um so no, let's not wait for the bus. We just came back on and he's gone. Wee. Right, so what we'll do then is go into the camera building here. Speak to the Photos Guild person, Chickadee. And she's going to be like, Ah, oh, you completed them all. That's so cute and so awesome. We'll get a photo challenger flag. We will equip it. And this is what should get us the cosplayer achievement. If, for whatever reason, it doesn't unlock, just go through your whole list and um, uh, equip every item once and it should unlock. Should be fine anyway. Um, but don't go cash in the bus now. We are off to Basto Island. That's the base game complete. Done. Boobity boo. So from here, we'll head to the right. And then we'll just head straight down and speak to the guy who is a boatman, the Viking boatman. And away we go for about another 50 minutes or so. So here we are then, DLC starts in Tabasto. Right, first thing we'll do is take a picture of the parrot. We got some new, uh, this is the beak bird. So we've got a new Pokedex to update. We've got 20 new animals here. We've got about 15 new quests, I think. Um, and obviously a whole bunch of new achievements to get. So uh, yeah, let's go. Yes, we are ready for another adventure. Of course we are. That's all we like to do. Um, I thought that said the water pooper attachment, which I laughed first until I realized it's the water popper achievement. So that's me being stupid. Uh, but basically what you'll need to do then is if you get your camera out, you can now switch between the honk and the water popper by pressing the X button. So as you can see there, it says splash, so now you press the A button to splash. And that'll get rid of the gate. And uh, yeah. Let us enjoy our stay at Basto. Now enjoying your stay means... Having a few drinks and relaxing, but we are going to go popping balloons and doing other stuff, so... Uh, you know, close enough. Right, first things first, speak to this big, massive Minecraft blockhead. Um, either one is fine. Uh, but what we need to do is take a... Uh, take a picture of Pyramid Head on the ski jet, first of all, right there. So, you ain't going to be able to do it from here, so you're going to need to nip to the edge. And you need to take a picture of him more specifically when he's uh, taking, when he's sort of halfway in the air doing a trick, when he's looking at you. Ah, exactly like that one. So that'll do it. Right, what we can do now, um, we can actually, I'm just going to take off all of the clothes now. We're just going to move a little bit faster. So we're going to go back to normal. Get rid of all this stuff now. Come on. Omina, Omina, that is much better. Oh, I feel much cooler now, and we've Speedy Boy again. Right, speak to Minecraft Head, show him the picture of the uh, Pyramid Head trick, and that will be the first one complete already. Have you ever grown up do Did I say 15 quests? I meant 20, of course, that's what I meant. Right, take a picture of the little spider bro in the water, the water strider. Uh, so effectively it's a water spider. Um, and then we're going to go straight up. So effectively, sorry for the edit there, but we're going to go straight up past the woman and go into the tent. And there is old Nana Bags. 
ันระทอมทอมโอ้ทันระโอ้ไอาจิตทันทอมอา Right, so well, we're going to nip out the present then. So cheers, Maka, for that. So get the present out then. It is going to be a sun hat. This time you don't have to equip everything if you don't want to, but we do need specific vacation items,、uh, which is the shirt and this hat,、uh, basically for an achievement later on. But obviously, following the guide, you'll get them all anyway. So take a nap and everything's. Oh, it's my nap. Mate, I've been. It's the night time. Why didn't you wake me up, bruh? So yes, some animals do come out at night and some don't. First of all, we're going to take a picture of this big night frog, the Budweiser frog, the mud frogs.、So、that's another one for the Pokedex updated. And then we will、um, get your camera out. Make sure to take a picture of the beach snake over the opposite side there. And we also need to get our camera out again. And this is the first out of eleven balloons that we need to splash down. So、um, no, you can't honk at it, <laughs> but you do need to try and splash it. So boom, there you go, one out of eleven done, and on which we go. So now we're gonna head to the right.、Um, this is a woman where we basically have to grow eleven flowers. We're gonna do that effectively towards the end of the DLC. But if we get a camera out, opposite side once again is the next balloon. So that's two out of eleven should be done. And then from here we will go. Um, to the、uh, down the ladder and up to the side. And when we get up here, there's actually a third balloon just on top of this little castle tower here. So whip out your camera, give it the old splash and a gashna of life. We need to get as high as you can, but there we go. Three out of eleven done. And then we can. There should be a. Uh, something in the trees as well. So yeah, we're gonna splash the trees down and grab one of the fruits that pop down off the ground, and this is called the melon ear, or just melon for short. Makes sense. Yeah. Right. So once we've done that, then we are actually just gonna go to the left. And once we get into this new area, head sort of left, sort of down and left again.、Uh, there is another balloon which we'll come back to in just a little bit. It's right there. So don't worry about that for now. But what you're going to see is a bat hanging by one of the lights. So we'll take a picture of this Zubat, annoying supersonic confusion mode Zubat, which was just horrible going through all the caves, wasn't it?、Uh, but that's that one done. And then these little creatures don't actually count here. The one with the leaves on their head, they don't count.、Um, but there is a little drill mole, which will appear. So make sure to take a picture of the drill mole. Just、uh, down below.、Uh, again, these leaf creatures don't count. They're just like leaves with happy faces on them.、Uh, when we go up and up again, what you're going to do is take a picture of the night lizard. So that's another one for the Pokedex. Done. Night lizard, and then we're going to speak to the guy in front of us in order to get, or the pea, or the whatever that's supposed to be, potato head, in order to get another quest. <laughs> So now we're smashing through, smashing through. So we're gonna go with the X's right here, and a couple of hands coming out. Press the A button on it, and a zombie will pop out. Speak to the zombie, and、um, he's gonna give us a, another quest to get basically an ice cream. And I'll show you how we do that soon. But for now, we're gonna head straight down onto the ladder where we took a picture of the drill mole. And we're now going to interact with the mermaid here. So、uh, all you got to do is effectively just—you、uh, don't actually need a picture of the mermaid now, but you do need to talk to her first, and then honk the seaweed off her. Honk the donk. So not only is that number th、uh, number three quest done, we need to take a close-up picture of her in order to get the、um, moonlit beauty achievement. Now, if it doesn't unlock, which it it didn't for me, I had to go back and take another picture for it to actually unlock. 
on screen. That's why I'm just taking a little cheeky double check right there. Obviously, that didn't go too well. So, yeah, if it doesn't unlock for whatever reason, just go and take another picture, and hopefully that should be fine. Just fine. And eventually, there we go. So finally, after what seemed like 16 hours of waiting, it was actually just like 130 seconds of waiting. But anyway, get the pickaxe on the ground, take a picture of this long bone. I'm not saying anything else, uh, but that's one of the <laughs> long bones needed for the dinosaur. We got the Moonlit Beauty achievement. Now we'll just crack on. Right, so head to the right into the... Um, it's big sand castle. This is the royal castle. Uh, sand castle. The royal K king sand castle, yeah. But we're taking a nap first anyway. Nice daytime. Ah, that's nice. Speak to the ice cream man and um, he's going to get us... Because we've got one of the fruits, he's going to give us an ice cream. Tidy melon ear ice cream. Mm. <laughs> Right, so to finish the quest we need to get four different bits of fruit, which of course we will do, but go ahead and speak to the painter and the photo that we are going to show her is of the beautiful little mermaid. <laughs> Lovely jabbly mate, number 4 out of 20 done, um, yeah so we're getting through it, right, we're going to head to the left but not go through to the next area, we're actually going to get that water balloon now, the water balloon which is just chilling off to the side, bam, oh look at that, straight in the nugget, boom, Right, so what we will do now is take another picture there, oh, sorry, get another balloon going. So you may have to move just a little closer because I am way out of it. Oh, square in the mouth. Well, she liked it. Or he liked it. Or oh, it's a balloon, so it liked it. Right, try going up if you can and into the Royal King Sandcastle bit. Um... We tried to take a picture of the mouse, but this guy... Do I actually laugh? Because I thought it was a bit of a glitch or something first. But this should happen to everyone's. Um, so, what we are going to do... We've got... We should have some ice cream on us. So, let's give him the ice cream. And he'll move away. No. <laughs> So that kid is effectively every kid now during the six weeks uh, school holidays, isn't it? I'll stop annoying you if you give me some ice cream. Fine, just have all the friggin' ice cream. Right, so interact with the bitling mouse here, and then we are going to go to the right and take a picture of a few more things. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this balloon. That's six out of eleven. And then if we um, take a pic, we're going to take a picture now of a couple of these items. The first one's going to be the sandcastle here on the left. Just take a picture of the sandcastle. That'll do, mate. Okay, there we go. Right, so next go to the opposite side, and we're going to take a picture of the Shoe Castle. So, Shoe Castle United. Alan Shura will be very happy with that. <laughs> and then take a picture of the little rock to the right of it as well, so that should be three that you've got. Try and take a sort of close-up pictures, if, you know, as much as you can, really. And then we're going to go up and speak to the... Uh, oh, in fact, no, we're going to frame a couple of pictures. The first one we're going to frame is the Sand Castle. The left-hand side one, we are going to frame the shoe. And the second one, we are going to frame the rock. Now, in real life, which is in America, in the middle, at the top, is first. Normally, then, on the left side is second, and on the right side is third. But uh, it's all backwards here, so just in case you got confused by that. So, speak to the Queen, and, um, yeah, we should be good to go when we're ready. So, talk to her again. We're all satisfied. Let's go. Hey, 
Sweet. Right, we get the royal cape, but we do need to take a t-shirt, a, a t-shirt. <laughs> We do need to take a picture of the king, uh, because he's now got this cool-ass t-shirt which says something about being king, which, I mean, you should already know he's king. So after this then, take a picture, he's got a crown on his head, a crown on his shirt. Um, that is one good-looking king. Mm. Anyway, there it is, so the achievement should unlock a lot quicker than the last one. So with that one done, we've got the royal cape needed. Um, now we're going to take a picture of the king, queen, and everything in between right there. So make sure to take a little picture of that one, and then we can head outside. If you do want to get another achievement, you can take a photograph of the Royal Sandcastle now, the big one outside. Uh, but I'm going to be grabbing that later on. So, to the right of it, take a picture of the sun, first of all. And then we're just going to splash, splash the cash, and splash the sign, and we will just jump down. Whip out your camera and you'll see, you'll throw f splashings at a tree, pick up the fruit, it's a banana kin. Or in real reality, in real life, it's just a banana. Nice. Right, uh, now we've got the Bannerkin, Bannerkin Skywalker. We will, well, I guess we'll just crack on, hmm? Right, so from here then, into this sort of main area, we're going to go back to the Ice Cream Man. He's going to give us a uh, Bannerkin Skywalker uh, ice cream. And then we're going to head back to the painter in order, uh, and we're going to show her the photograph of the king, and she'll get that one slapped up for us. So from here, what we'll do is head down the ramp here, go through to the other side. We're going to go to a new area now, so drop down the ladder. And then we're going to take a right into a new area with a whole bunch of ghosts. But don't worry, we're not going to be talking to those ghosts. If you're scared, it's the guy with the sandwich. Go to the right, and we're going to interact with a... Um, well, you'll see his real body in just a bit. But we'll uh, get him some water. What we'll do, head to the left, go up. And you can see like a little water fountain type thing, so just interact with that, it's going to give him some water. And he's going to go from absolutely skinny and dying to absolute hench as hell. So, if you do want to become the world's strongest man, just drink a hell load of water and you'll look massive like this. Don't worry about dieting or food or anything, just, you know, drink lots of water. Right, so, first things first, we're going to go up, we're going to take a picture of the, uh, not take a picture, but we're going to splash, sorry, this guy. In the water and um, that's gonna get us the splish splash achievement so if it doesn't unlock straight away just um, try again if it doesn't unlock talk to him if it doesn't unlock just keep splashing him and eventually it should unlock there it is so yeah sometimes that one was a bit finicky as well um, but you can so th these are the flowers so basically you don't have to take a picture of the flowers but eventually we'll have to go through a quest where we've got to splash like four or five water balloons at them in order for the flowers to grow um, get rid of one of these, but it's actually nothing. These fruits are pretty pointless. So we're going to press the A on the pickaxe to get a treasure chest going. What have we got? Flip flops. Yeah. But they are slower. So I'm going back to the sneakers, please, bro. So for some odd reason then I try and collect the fruit which we can't collect right there. So we're going to head up the ladder instead. Make sure of course to get the balloon going. Or balloon popping. This should be number 7 now. So we're getting through the balloons nice and quick. Then we can just head back down the ladder and go back around. Uh, 
And this time we're going to go in the spooky cave. This is pure Zubat cave, this is. And Geodude. Uh, yeah, so interact with the book anyway. Flying rats, which you know are not pigeons, but they are bats in this one. Uh, so once you've got that quest going then, we're going to take a picture of the glow worms right here on the wall. And uh, yeah, so that one's done, the glow worm's done, then we are going to... <laughs> well, you don't actually have to splash the radio, but uh, I thought I'd try and... Well, it turns out it's just been stupid, and I take a picture as well. So you can take a picture if you want, I don't think we need it for anything specific. Uh, there's more flowers right there, again, um, if you're sort of following them, if you're trying to get them on the way through, then obviously that's completely up to you. But we get the pickaxe going, we're going to get a sun cap. So again, I'm just equipping it because why not? Because I'm Thibri Q, of course. Then head out to the left, and now we're on to another new area. We've got something else to grab now. The Snouten Bug. Hell of a bug. So make sure that's uh, part of your Pokedex and that's been updated lovely. Look to the right to get the Bitling Snail as well. So uh, the sort of McPixel 4 Snail. And then from here, we can now splash this sign, go down the pipe and through to the side again. And once we do, there is obviously an obvious looking balloon we're going to splash open. That's 8 now out of 11. And we do need to take a picture of this scary tree. Oh my god. I wonder if the tree's alive. His face is moving. That's still creepy. Meh. Have some water balloons. It's super effective. Right, head back through the pipe, that's all we need here. Sorry to leave you coughing there, broski. So from here, where you need to go then, is down the ramp where that one sort of bitling pixel head is. Uh, it's not this tree, sorry, I went to the wrong tree. Uh, go to the right, head down, and this is the tree that we need. This is another piece of fruit we're grabbing. <laughs> Beanut. I don't know why that's funny, but it looks nice. Tropical fruit. Uh, so there is another flower um, just on top of there. So if you want to splash that, you absolutely can. If not, and you'd rather follow me to get all 11 later, that's also fine as well. Uh, but that is just another one if needed. Then we can just climb up the ladder. Climb, boys. Climb. And then we are going to get a camera out. In fact, no, we don't need to climb the ladder. Sorry. What we're going to do... Um, we, <laughs> I did try getting the balloon, but it's not actually going to work. So what we're going to do is take a little nappy nap, head down the ladder, go to the other side, and then hit Bluno. So that was Balloon 9 out of 11. He didn't have to take a picture of the shell, by the way. I did, just for some particular reason. We're going to head back through the cave. And then we get out the other side. There's going to be a couple of fireflies that we're going to take a little snooky at. So this is going to update the Pokedex again. To make sure to get the firefly glow butts going. There we go. And then, um, now what I do actually here is go back to the flower and um, give it a little hit. But again... It's up to you if you want to crack that one up and splash a couple of water balloons at it to keep it going. We're going to grab some more water because we have to... This guy, for some reason, got really thirsty really quickly again. So we're going to head down first and continue up to the left. Then we're going to go down. And then we're going to climb up the ladder here to the left, get a pickaxe going and take a picture of the big old dinosaur here. So once we've done that, we'll drop down, we'll go to the right. Uh, now I do, I did just accidentally come back to this area for some reason, uh, but we're not doing that. Uh, so we need to continue to the right, then right again to go down the ladder, up the ladder, up the next ladder, and we're going to feed big old broski some water. through to the next area then 
what we'll do is head up the ramp, head all the way to the right to get yet another water bottle. So there's uh, the old big massive broski brosk. There's some more water. Go and feed it to him and he's going to finally get into his house. That's uh, apparently as soon as somebody gets as skinny as that after being so buff for so long, it means they can't move anymore. I'm sure that's a medical condition, bruh. But uh, anyway, there you go. He's in his house. Are we going to follow him? Oh, ho, ho, ho. dodgy stuff. We are going to follow him. We are going to press the A button. And I will not uh, bring you for a jog. Uh, come with you for a jog because that is a swear word, jogging. So, we're going to head out. We're going to go all the way to the left into the next area. Like this area. And then we're going to go up the ramp. We're going to speak to the zombie, give him a little bit of ice cream. And jobs your nan's uncle, mate. So yeah, happy with that one then. So instead of just taking off his Viking helmet, he needed an ice cream on his head. So after all that then, that should be 8 out of 20 done. We can now take a little snoopy snoop. And when we wake up all nice and refreshed, head down the ramp, turn the camera around, and on the chair is another Bitlin frog we're going to take a picture of. And if we head to the right into the tent, we're going to get uh, start some carnival games. They're all very, very easy. So we're going to talk to the mustachioed man. Um, and basically, there's no time limit or anything like that. So basically, you get a ticket for each win. And overall, we need six all together in order to get all of the prizes. Especially the second one is what we need. So, uh, pop the balloon first though, which is going to be 10 out of 11. And then we can just back out, because there's nothing else. And then what we need to do, is, so for this first game then, all you got to do is literally just hit the target. I missed a whole bunch of times, and it didn't really matter. You get minus 25 for every miss, plus 50 for every point. So just keep going until the game finishes. Yeah, so I don't know if you can actually lose at that game. I think you just got to keep on going until it sort of finishes. But anyway, that's the first one. The second game, which is right here on the back. So basically, there's just going to be a picture on the left, and all you got to do is find the same face as that with your camera. It's genuinely very easy. You've just got to find five of the faces to get the 500 starry points.
Okay, that one is done. So we got two stars, uh, two tickets. Now this third one, for some reason I decided to take a picture of the popcorn machine. Don't actually need to do that. But this third game is kind of like Guitar Hero. So you're gonna have the uh, dark line at the bottom. When the light ones get it, you've got to hit hit the A button when the light ones get into the dark one, like so. Boop. Um, and obviously all you need to do is get to 3,000 points and you can get as many goes as you want. I failed the first time, won the second time, so it's not too shabby bad. So this was actually, this is actually um, just basically a trailer for the new Guitar Hero game. The rest of the game you've got to uh, unlock behind paywalls and DLC and stuff. So as long as you've got a couple of hundred pound ready, you can unlock the full Guitar Hero. That's the, just the base game there. Uh, right. <laughs> so you get the achievement for completing all carnival games. We are going to get the Lee? 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 I'm so silly. And then we're going to insert the two tickets in order to get the vacation shirt, which is needed for an achievement. But we do need the third one as well, um, which of course we don't have three tickets. So what we're going to do is go to the back here and just play this funny face game. Or the trying to spot the same face game uh, three times until we get three tickets and then we're good to go. Or you can do any of the other two games, whichever you found easier, whichever one you'd prefer. <laughs>
So what seems like a lifetime, once that's done, we can insert the three tickets and we can get the Royal Cane. That was the Royal Cane. Lovely stuff. Right, we have now finished the quest. That'll be another stamp, so that should be 9 out of 20 complete now. Right, so let's get out of here, collect the last fruit. So what we're going to do, head to the right over the ramp, have a look at the tree. Um, just by the, uh, if we go around the way right here, take a look at the tree by the water fountain. And that's going to get us what is an orange, but it's actually called Oranginans. Or something. Oranginas. Yeah, no, oh, right, cool. Right, so head up, we're going to speak to this broski. Uh, trying to find all of the bugs, and we have basically taken a picture of it already. So it's the flying, it's the fire, the, the fire bug. Not the fire bug, the... The, you know, Firefly. Close enough. But that is the one he's after. That'll be another quest done. <laughs> right, so halfway through, lads and laddies. Again there. Right, so head to the right. We're going to speak to the ice cream man again, and he's going to sort us out with two deliciousnesses. Which will get us another stamp. Now we're going to get another achievement as well. So all we're going to do is get your camera out and take a photo of the Royal Sandcastle. That will get you the Royal Castle achievement. Nice. So that's 11 out of 20 done. Royal Castle's complete. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get a couple of these sort of miscellaneous achievements out of the way uh, in just a bit. But we head down to the next bit. We're going to take a little snoozy snooze here. Because we're going to take a picture of the moon with some sunglasses on him. So the moon should be around anyway, so turn around and uh, there it is, look, so we'll nip past the tree. So what you need to do, zoom in, uh, left trigger to get your filters out. Get your filters out, there we go, and we need to find the sunglasses filter. So there we are on the uh, second to bottom row on the right hand side, take a picture of that. And that is what you get, that's how you get the WhatsApp achievement. And then, we've only got four achievements left to get. Yay! Right, so, what we can do, we'll head down, and from here, we will head to the left, and up. In fact, what would have been easier right there, we need to basically speak to this monkey, but uh, he's obviously sleeping, so we could just go back to the daytime. So, uh, apologies about that one. But we'll head to the left, go into the tent, make it daytime, and then go back and speak to El Fr uh, Monkey-o. So, ice cream heals all broken bones, remember that one next time in case you break something. Uh, equip the, uh, in fact, no, we're not going to equip the foot cast, so <laughs> we don't need to worry about that. Uh, we're going to head back to the left though this time, and then we're going to go back into our grandmama's tent and take another little nap. It's been a hard couple of days, you know. Now, I feel I could have just done this bit a little quicker and a little better. Um, so, yeah, sorry about this. Uh, I, I feel like I was going a bit back and forth here. Um, but what we do, we'll go down the ladder, up the ladder, through to the next side, and all the way over to the left to speak to a guy with some spooky stories. <laughs> So 
So what we're gonna do then is show him the spooky tree picture and that'll get everyone going Oh my god, I'm so scared <laughs> Oh, man. So that'd be 13 done. Right, before moving on, what we're going to do is throw... Uh, we're going to uh, throw a thing at a bat. So the bat that we took a picture of earlier. Give him a little splash. He'll fall down and that'll be one out of three. Of course, he will be completely fuming. Don't try to bite me and suck my blood. I need it to live. The second bat is going to be right here. Just chilling on this building. So that one is very easily missable. Very easily missed. So make sure to hit that one. That'll be the second or the third one. And from here then, we'll go to the right uh, oh, sorry, down. That's where we're off. Sorry, my my apologies for going down. I'm back to where the uh, sort of mermaid was. Oh, no, sorry, this is a new net. We're going to pickaxe and take a picture of the dinosaur foot. So what we'll do now is go up the ladder, go all the way to the left uh, with the area that we were just in with the uh, spooky story, and then go up to the dinosaur person, show them all three, and that's that quest done. Count <laughs> Let's go! 14 done. Right, head down the ladder to where the night lizard is just chilling. Climb, climb, climb. To the right is the last balloon, I believe. Yes, tis the last balloon. That's where the last balloon is. That's going to be 15 out of 20. So, five quests to go. We are almost done. We're about sort of 14 minutes away now. About 40, 13, 40 minutes away now from ending. Uh, from completing and totally finishing the game. Right. So from here then, what we'll do is go in through the cave. More caves. And the next bat is going to be right above us in this cave right here. Don't even be trying to be zoo bat and me, bro. And then interact with the book to finish this quest as well. <laughs> And Broski, since being trapped in a book, he does want some ice cream, so we will give him some. To be fair, that's, uh, it's only fair, in all fairness. Look at that, mate. Sorted. Right. He's happy with that, so that actually gets us two uh, completioned, completed quests right there. So we've got three left to grab now. Right, so let's crack on then, shall we? So what we're going to do, we're going to interact with this wall and then smash it open a couple of times. There's going to be a little bit of a puzzle that we've got to do here in order to get our updated Pokedex going. So head through once you've pickaxed it. What are we putting on? We're putting on... Oh, I tell you what we do. We're going to put on the sun ha hat. Sorry, we're going to get ready for another achievement. So get the sun hat on, the vacation shirt on, um, the flip-flops, and take any other mask or anything off. So make sure that you've just got the sun hat, the flip-flops, 
and the vacation shirt. That is for an achievement we're going to do in just a bit. But we're going to go through here. We're going to splash all of the fire out. And so it's one of these little puzzles. So just uh, follow, obviously, exactly what I do. So first of all, we're going left. And then right. And then left. I think we could have just left it at left once yet. Yeah, we could have. Then we're going to go um, to the left again. Then up. Then right. Then left. Uh, down, sorry. And then... Uh, we go in right again, then down, then left, then up, and that is how you complete the puzzle. That one's sorted. It's the Potato King, the king of all potatoes, so we do need to take a picture of him. Don't just leave. Potato King! Oh, yeah. The sweetest of fries of Potato King. And also take a picture of the little spider, Itsy Bootsy Spider. Uh, and that's all it is in this cave. That's all we need to do. So once that one is done, we are actually... Don't go out just yet. We are going to start smashing out all 11 flowers now. Uh, or I say smashing out. We're going to start getting them springing, boy. So the first one, of course, is here. So you need to splash it. Uh, chuck a few water balloons at them. So don't just run away what I do. Chuck a few until there we go. So only two or three, I think, is needed. Then we can head out to the right. We're just going to start... Doing all the flowery stuff now. Um, but again, we're, we're literally like 10 minutes away now from the end. So, head through to the other side. And we're at where the ghosts were, of course. There's the next flower we will do. So, that's 2 out of 11. Then we're going to head to the left. The left. And we're going to go up. And we're going to go straight up. Oh. Oh. So a very sneaky one here, but what we need to do is throw a water balloon at this tree. This time it's for good measure because we will take a picture. There's a pet coconut or something right there, whatever it's called. So make sure you take a picture of this one as well. The potato cocoa. Yeah, it's a coconut of a potato. I wonder how that would taste. Hmm. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to sit on the seat in front of the painting lady. Then we're just going to go ahead and take a selfie. And, ah, oh, look at us. We is a beautiful man. Uh, but that is what will get the self-portrait achievement. That's the only way you can get the self-portrait achievement by sitting down, taking a picture of yourself, and job done. So once that's done, we can continue on sort of to the left. And then we will... Are we going to do the quest or the achievement first? I believe we're going to get the flowers first. So there's the flowers just next to the ramp. So get that one. That's a 3 out of 11. Then we're going to talk to the leaf leader, I suppose. Then all you need to do is go into your camera and splash a couple of the fiery lights around you. There we go, so that's 18 out of 20 done. What we'll do is head to the right. We're not getting the maximum vacation just yet. We'll come back to that. Um, and then we're just going to continue on to the right. Go inside the strong man's house. There's another bunch of flowers there. All of his weights are there. And there is also going to be the flowers on the opposite side of the room, just by the door. So that's 4 out of 11 should be done. Heading out of the house. Going over the ramp, or the uh, bridge, of course. And then we're going to go down the ramp and back to the previous area. Head down the ladder. And then we're going to go down left and up again. And before heading left to the new area, there is another uh, set of, uh, another pot of flowers on the rock. There we go. So that'll be 5 out of 11. And now we can go into the next area. Uh, for a couple more, there's the next one immediately to our right as we start, or immediately straight in front of us. Then we can go back. You can talk to the woman here if you want to get the quest going. Um, so I get that that'll be, that will be 7 out of 11, whichever way you look at it. That'll be 7 out of 11. Yes, you've put plants all over the island and you forgot to water them. That's 
Silly is... that's one word for it. Anyway, so we've got four left to grab now. Right, from here then we're going to head down into this sort of very starting area with the information desk. There is a pot of flowers uh, right next to it. The other side, there we go. Right next to the monkey there, so that's going to be number eight out of eleven. Plus, if you have a look at the top of the the information sign, you can see the little potato bird. So, oh, the, it's a pixelated bird, the bitlin. So wait until he comes around and it's the bitling potato. So that is another one completo. And that's all there is in this area. So we can head back up. We're going to take a uh, right down the ladder and up the other side. And now it's daytime. I've had enough of the night. Time for daytime. So go inside the royal sand castle. And there's going to be another pot of flowers right in front of us. That's nine done out of eleven done. And that's all it is. We'll never come back here again. Oh no. Okay, so from here then we'll go to the left. So in the left side area. And what we're going to do, again, providing if you take a seat in one of these chairs, as long as you've got only the sun hat, the uh, vacation shirt and the flip-flops on, just those three items. Sit in one of these chairs here, you will get the maximum vacation achievement. So if it doesn't unlock, unequip uh, some of the items you may have accidentally left on or, or something like that. So, head right over the bridge, go inside the carnival tent. And once again, if we go to the right side, there is another pot of flowers. 10 out of 11, one to go. And we're getting close to the end of the game, yeah. So, let's go back over the bridge. We don't need to come back to this area anymore. We're going to head up. And up again. And we're going to take a picture of the day lizard right here. And is that the last one? No, not quite yet. No, in fact, the last one is the egg. Um, yes, an egg is apparently an animal. So, we climb down the ladder, take a picture of the egg. And this is the last one now. The eggert. So, uh, eggert your way through. Yeah, job done. And as it turns out, it's not the last one. It was close enough. Um, right, so, heading into the next area then. Um, we are now going to... We'll climb up. There's the last pot of flowers that we're going to be doing. And we are going to grab... Oh, sorry. This is where the last one is. So, climbing up, smashing the trees first. And it is a cocoa crab. That is finally the last one. Yes, there we go. So, that is finally the last one. And some more, so that is all of the compendium creatures done. And the last flower pot, like I said, is here as well, so that's 11 out of 11. So literally, all we've got now is to complete all the quests in Basto, and that is the game... Well, that's all the achievements complete. You don't have to complete the game then if you don't want. Uh, but all we've got to do here is just show him the pictures of all the Bitling, the little McPixel Minecraft animals that we've taken. <laughs> One more quest to go until 48 achievements are done. And I assume there's 48 trophies as well. Maybe 49 if you count the uh, platinum, which I assume there is a platinum. Uh, so we're going to take a little cheeky Snoopy Snoops. There we go. Snoopy Snoops is done. And let's just go and grab the last thing. So if we head down past the snout bug and to the left. And then we're obviously going to climb up the ladder again.
And it is, of course, speaking to the flowery lady. And uh, that's it. 20 out of 20, all complete. So now you should get the Vikings Holiday Achievement. If you check your achievements, you should now have 48 out of 48. But uh, there's only a couple of minutes left of the story anyway. It's, it's literally just a case of us going down to the info desk, telling the monkey we're all done, and then we have a campfire song song. C-A-M-P-F-A-R-E-S-O-G-N-C song. And if you don't think that we're wrong, then you can sing along. But it'll happy if you just sing along. Um, but yes, that's literally it now. So double check your achievements. You should be all literally good to go. Um, I take a nap, get to the day, speak to the monkey. And yeah. But I've left these last um, sort of couple of minutes in. Um, and I have also left uh, the last remaining sort of credits in. Because actually what the devs say in the credits is um it's actually really really nice so that's why i've left that one in there as well um i don't think you've got to do this um i've done it anyway just in case but i'm not too positive you have to do this um but yeah so looking good there we go might as well completely complete it and yeah now we can head back to the monkey do all that finish the game and that is job done <laughs> So I'm going to leave it here then guys and gals, so thank you so, so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well, if it did of course don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. A big shout out as always to my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and everyone who uh, interacts with me on the daily anyways. Thank you so, so much. And, well, this would be Toem. Enjoy the last few bits of credits because it's actually, it's a very heartwarming message in all fairness. Because any game is difficult to work on, so congratulations to everyone who made the game. But, um, yeah, enjoy this bit and I shall see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big ol' love nuts.